And now, our feature presentation. And now, being recorded in front of a live studio audience of superheroes without tights, it's the most random show on the internet. It's TBK Live! Let's start a riot! Dance in the fire! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most random show on the internet. Welcome to a brand new episode of TBK Live! My name's Richard, and joining me as always is the Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy to my Catwoman. I really thought you were going to call yourself Harley Quinn here. Yeah, I realized after I did that, I just kind of screwed the pooch. But sure, we'll go with that. Joining me as always is Ashley. Hi. And Shern, the Hello. sassy one. Oh, by the way, you can... How are you? I'm okay. I think it worked. They think it worked? Yeah, I think it's bad. So who is who? I don't, it our... doesn't really matter. Okay. Other than we know I'm Catwoman. We're all kind of I mean, sort apparently. of on the same team when we when it works for us. You know? I mean, you know, we Let's have to go cut. our own ways whenever it doesn't. But. Yeah, well. Side note, it would have made even more sense now to have you be Harley Quinn because apparently Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy got married in one of the I alternate timelines. I did see that. Did you see yes, that? I didn't. But. Yeah, the comics now, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn are in a relationship and it makes me the happiest yeah. person on mm-hmm. earth. Because they're so adorbs. I don't know why I'm saying adorbs now. That has entered my vocabulary. That's I don't really approve. Strange. What? I'm also saying totes. No. I approve that slightly more, but I still mm-mm. probably should I don't know it. why it's happening. It's just happening. Like, I can just see, like, all my English teachers, like, cringing. Well, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm not writing it. I'm just being mm-hmm. like, I saw something earlier today. I think I even said it while we were recording. Are you still watching? Where I'm like. Pam's totes adorb, and you never said anything. Or you I also didn't. probably did not like acknowledge it. I'm just like, no. Sharon yeah. tuned me out. That's what she no. does. Sharon tunes me out. That's quite what a most bit. people do. Yeah, thanks, asshole. I mean, <laughs> we still love you. Yeah. <clears throat> you telling me that we don't? I think there are days that you question it. That's why. Like, I also don't use like um, text lingo very often. Oh, I'll never use text yeah, lingo. I don't. Someone looked at me when t- I was having a conversation with a friend of mine from. Uh, not I met him through a high school friend, and she looks at me and makes a joke and says, "JK, JK," and I'm just no. I think I can't be your friend anymore. I think the closest I'll uh, I'll use OMG sometimes. That that's about it. But I think that when when my 14 year old tells me he's like BRB mom, that means be right back, and I'm like child. No, no. <laughs> I'm like you do not know what a- girl. <laughs> I'm like. You do not know the days of AOL messaging. I'm like, we made oh up God. that stuff. You have no idea. I never had AOL, but I started with Hotmail. Gotcha. Oh, Hotmail Messenger. I started with Yahoo. Yahoo! They have no idea. Those were the days, pretending you were someone you were not in a messenger. I did that quite a bit. Setting it as you're away and <laughs> yeah. you're really there. Yeah, all the you're time. You're just hiding. I still do that on Facebook. Like, I will set except, it away. Except Facebook tells us everyone you're there when you're really not. No, I set mine to where you actually, where mine says you're not there. And I'm just looking over people like, ha, 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 <laughs> send me all the messages because I'll never read them. Ah. It's terrible. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm calling it like I see it. Yeah, the fact that Facebook tells people when you read messages gets me in trouble. This is why I never open up messages. <laughs> Or you have them set to your phone to where you pull down the thing and you can read the message that way and then just pop it up so that way no, they still don't know. But it doesn't always show you the full message. And if you get somebody like some of the weirdos that I message that send like five <laughs> or six in a row. Hi, Tiffany! <laughs> that send five or six in a row and you can't see all of them. It just says multiple messages from this person. Yeah, no, those happen a lot in our group message. I true. no longer get notifications from our group message. Because you're getting too many? Because I was getting too many. Our group message is hilarious. Last night, Tiffany sends this video, this 80s dating video that is awful. I know you watched it. Yeah. It's the, it, I it's, watched most of it. I got the gist of it, I think. I remember the days. There's an episode of the Goldbergs with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 
I'm glad I, I'm glad dating's not like that anymore. Well, that it doesn't matter if it was or not because you're not dating anymore. <laughs> well, I'm just saying in general for people out there that's single that's listening. I'm glad dating's not like oh, that. For that, I, there was the the guy Fred in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that actually ended up on the website like five years ago. Mm. To let you know how it's terrible. Got some stuff we got to cover before we get started in today's episode. 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 Uh, before we get started, and we got to cover some ground. Guys, visit shop tbk, tbkmagazine.com slash shop tbk. I've got a huge announcement. Okay. Because this is the first time we've got to talk about it. Okay. Economy shirts. Yes. I'm super excited. So I, I've been wanting, the one thing I've always said with the store is I've always wanted a cheap shirt that's awesome that everyone can buy that's soup, that, that's reasonably priced. Because honestly, 20 to 30 bucks for a t-shirt still utterly ridiculous to me. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like anyone should spend that much on a shirt. Yeah. I mean, just, it's too much. So we're going to start selling shirts for $13. They are soft. They come in three colors, and they're pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. I got to see one of them today. I'm actually wearing one right now. That is where I got <laughs> to see it. <laughs> they are very soft, and I now own two of them, and I'm really excited about it. So, and uh, follow us on our Twitter page, because we're going to give away one of those t-shirts with a new design on it that has not been shown yet that will be get debuted at StarCast while we're in Chicago. Ooh. So, yeah, speaking of which, our wrestling podcast, SNS, will be in Chicago at StarCast. Just want to throw that out there. Uh, also, pick up the entire library of Burning Willow Press, print and ebook, which Ooh. I finally got caught up on. The view, you're not on social media, so you'll appreciate this. I have had to post like 15 books the other night. It's a lot of work. Six hours. Ed occasionally gets behind on sending them. Yeah, no. And, and it's just, here's all the books at once. All right. So I didn't realize, I forgot to turn off the notifications to social media. So <laughs> it spammed up the website one. Mm. How, many pa- how many posts? Like 15, 20? Yeah. Oh, 15 wow. to 20 in the span of six hours of just all these different books. And some of the authors from Burning Willow Press is like, is this a pirate site? (laughs) So new shirt coming to the store. It's going to be an eye patch that says R and below it. It says we're a pirate site. Nice. (laughs) Someone's phone's not (laughs) off. That's mine. Way to go, Sharon. If it it had rang, it would have terrified me because I'm almost always got it on. What is your ring? Oh, you have a song for ring. Yeah, it's uh, Wonderwall. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine is a telephone ringing. Yeah, because Ashley isn't cool. Ashley will never put a ringtone on her phone. But my text tone is the Power Rangers thing. Yeah, but that's not that bad. It's just a generic. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's cooler to have a ringtone. At least it was in 2004. I have never liked having a song as my ringtone. I love having a song as a ringtone because it just annoys everybody. I also have different songs. I like my phone to sound like a phone. What what annoys me is the people that still have like the ring back. Song. Oh, and, the party you're always, trying to please they're, hold on. Yeah, they're always so loud and like the most obnoxious song ever. And Ugh. you run. I don't know if if you see this a lot, but as a nurse, you tend to call a bunch of people. Like, yes. I'm on the phone all day, every day. Mm-hmm. People still and have these. Yes. yes. Like While seventy plus year old ladies with these weird. Never gonna give you yeah. up. Never gonna. No, no like no, it's, it's rap. never appropriate. No, it's. I'm telling it's you, like or like heavy metal, and nonsense, or like, like awful. or like dirty, dirty country song. <laughs> it's never something that's appropriate, and it's where you can hold it like six inches from your ear and still hear it. <laughs> yes, and you're like, please, please answer or hurry up and get me to the voicemail because I, I cannot keep listening to this. It's a good day. It's That's like awesome. four people like can beside you can hear it. It is incredibly loud. Every time that I encounter a ring back, I automatically put it on speaker so everybody else in my pod can hear worst, it. Worst song that you've heard is a ring back tone. Go. Uh, we can't think of that I can't, off the top I can't of our head. Well, I figured off the top of my head. I could tell you the patient's name, but I can't because it's a violation. That that's illegal. Like I know the person. I'm sure it would be But some I'm not rap going song. to call them it's specifically in- to find out what their ring back tone is. <laughs> I'm sure I, I would have to say it's probably a rap song and I wouldn't know the name of it because I don't if, listen to rap. A friend from high school, because those came out when we were in high school. Mm-hmm. That was a yeah. thing. And a friend of mine from high school was like, I'm putting Informer by Snow as their ring back tone. I'm like, you bastard. So every time he called, Informer, like your boom. Oh, oh yeah. God, are you kidding? And it's to this day, he still has that ring back tone. <laughs> 
Yeah. He has not changed. That is commitment. Yeah. And I'm like, I guess. So when he calls now, if we talk, anytime he calls, that is his ringtone. Because then I know that when he calls. (laughs) It's appropriate. Mm. Ringback tones are a bitch. Yes, they are. And people have ridiculous voicemail messages. That would be me. Some of them are so offensive. And I want to be like, like, I want to say something to it. I'm just like, hello, this is Sharon, your nurse. This email or this voicemail is not appropriate. And then I tell them their message. You know, like I, I just, ugh, it's so rude sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm one of those people that, that you'll call and be like, I'll go, I'll say hello and then just pause where you say something and be like, you're talking to my voicemail, dumbass. Yeah, that makes like, us extremely angry <laughs> also. Every time that I encounter one of those, I get irrationally mad and I hang up the phone. I do not leave voicemails to those. Yeah, it makes us really I angry. get mad why and do you I think hang I, up the why phone. Why do you think I used to do it? I don't do it now because, you know, but I get like, professional I, calls. I but... need to talk to these people because this is a professional call. When you write down your number on the paper... It becomes and a different leave story. That information to your, give that information to your health care provider. Do you ever once think about the fact that they might have to call and I like always, give you the results of your STD screening? Like, you, might want, you might want that information. And I mean, you, currently we're just giving out hepatitis panels. And if but. you just called them effing losers, don't leave me a message because I never check it. Well... Hey, dickhead, you have the syphilis. Right. Boom. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe people want to think a little bit more about that. Oh like, if God. you just l- listen through two minutes of excruciating rap music only to be cussed at, like, mm, guys thought yeah. maybe you should have thought I'd, a little bit more about that. I get irrationally mad at horrible at rap music stuff all the time. Like, I, I I get angry and I don't leave voicemails like I should. We are put through like, a lot. I I will Before hang up even talk and I will the call thing. them oh, yeah, no. back in five minutes. And then I can leave a voicemail the second time because I'm expecting it. Like, I know what's happening. <laughs> and then they answer the phone like, hello? Because <laughs> that would be what normally happens like mm-hmm. the second time you call. Because people know if I don't answer the phone, they'll just immediately call me right back. Because they'll be like, he'll answer the second call because he's just being a dick stick. I have yeah, had, like, if there's an absolute ridiculous message, like, for a voicemail, been like, hey, hey, I need you to call and listen to this voicemail. Like, just listen to this message. It's, like, so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And And every time you try to tell someone about it, they answer the phone. And I'm like, oh, sorry. Uh, Give me the phone back. If you have a weird voicemail, send us an email at tbklive at (laughs) tbkmagazine.com and tell us what it is or send me the audio clip. Yes, please. Send me the audio clip. I would rather have the audio clip. Uh, also, check out our store, Sassy Shirt and Shirts, uh, Sexy Wrestling Donut. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't. I still to this day don't understand that one, but hey. Uh, am I forgetting one? No. Our, our TBK Magazine 80 shirt, our new Random Evolve t-shirts, and a whole bunch more. Shop TBK. TBKmagazine.com slash shop TBK. Sharon, I'm going to ask hmm. you the question because I asked you last time. I'm going to continue to ask you. You don't like leaving the house, do you? Not particularly. You hate going to the store, right? Yes. What if I told you you could order wine from your house? It would make my life so much easier. You too can do it from home. Visit knockingpointwines.com and use the code TBK at checkout and get $20 off your first box. You don't even have to leave the house. You can do it without pants on. That's the best way to order anything. You should do everything I could without have even pants complained on. a little bit before <laughs> our Walmart is being rearranged. Are they getting rid of the wine section? Not that Walmart. Oh. Our big Walmart. Oh. It is terrible. Oh, yeah, because they're, re- they're remodeling Our it. bread smells like laundry detergent. Yeah! Oh, that's, <laughs> I forgot about that. This is why you go to other stores, because at this point, terrible. I'm done. Oh, Walmart. They, it they, is so bad. And while their floor, the new floors they're putting in is Which nice, looks terrible. No, I think it looks I think terrible. the idea of it is nice, and I think in maybe a different type of place it would be okay, but with the fluorescence... It is, it is bright blinding. As, yeah, it's bright as It fuck. is so blinding. And for someone who is so migraine sensitive or has a migraine when they walk in there, it is absolutely horrific. Just wear I your sunglasses. It. I probably You're going to have to wear your sunglasses indoors. I wear indoors. my sunglasses inside. inside. I used not, to, not at night, inside. <laughs> I used to sing that song to Jesse all the time because he would wear his sunglasses way, way past when it was appropriate. Is that a douche move? Sunglasses at night? I it depends. Have to sometimes because I can't see from the oncoming traffic. But I mean, yeah, if you're wearing them to be cool, though, like if you're just wearing them to an event, dick move. Are well, you a dick? If if you're wearing it to impress people, yeah. sure. If you're wearing it for your own comfort, then who cares? No, I mean, like, if, yeah, if you're trying to impress people and you're trying to look cool, 
Is that still a thing? I mean, Looking that's cool? Like, just sunglasses that's impress like, people and look cool? That was a thing in my age. I mean, my that's like was, putting yeah, no. the sunglasses on backwards because you think that looks cool. That's also... That was a thing? Yeah. It's I don't remember that. still do that. It's still kind of a thing. also stupid. I, I With like vaguely dingy college rem- boys. Yeah. I, yeah. They, no, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Never did that. I always still wear I my didn't hat. I suggest that you did it. No, I, it's no. It's just I, up there with that. I, I still it, wear yeah. my hat backwards, but there's a reason for that. But you're also not the one that's weird enough to wear your hat backwards and then get mad because the sun's in your eyes. I mean, and that's, try to like cover that's up your up eyes there, like, instead with, of turning your hat around. Because I like, will turn my hat it's around. It's like, would Kevin Federline do that? That should be the, the, the yeah. standard we hold our Right. To. And if you could envision him doing it, then you should not do it. Coming soon to the store, WWFD. <laughs> <laughs> or WWKFD, yeah. yeah. What yeah. would Kevin Federline do? Good God. I know what Alan Someone Dick... Someone who hasn't had a... Anything? Like, where... I think he's just fat and living in a trailer no, park. There was an article I read about Britney Spears having to pay him child support and... Anyway, that's well, why I why thought about she it. Have to pay him child support? Because I he has know. custody of the yeah. kid. And then they were talking about what she did with the rest of her money. And apparently, she likes to to shop at Target and eat McDonald's. And yeah, Brittany's yeah. become the typical yeah. mom. They're like, oh, she keeps it. She keeps it. You know, except for Christmas. Nice cool, have man. you seen Christmas photos from Brittany's house? <laughs> like she loads up. Like it's it's presents to the ceiling. It's it's nuts. But I mean, if you have the money, go for yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if if you could. They were like talking awesome. about. Like, I would spoil the, everybody. They were talking about the places that she shops at, like J.C. Penney's, and I'm like, oh, so she's a Southern girl. Like I'm just. Like, well, she is from. She's mm-hmm. from Mississippi. Mississippi I, I think, think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Mississippi. I'm like the places she's talking about sounds pretty typical. Like I'm like, ooh, like, but that's, but for that's this, what she grew up doing, and yeah. that's what she continued to do as a parent because yeah, that's so. what you do. Stores you are where you anyway. came from. Yeah, because I mean, those are the high class stores in the South, and I'm not knocking them. Yeah. That is no, the truth. Like, yeah, like. They were just talking about how she was keeping it modest, and I was just like, yeah, my, good for her. My mom would make me get dressed up when I was a kid if we were going to a JCPenney. She's like, you're going to get <laughs> dressed up nice, and you're going to represent us. Like I was I that way even going to Walmart. Well, I think you should probably wear something decent, which is unfortunately something that has kind of fallen away here. Oh, yeah, we need to just- Not pajamas and a full top and bottom. Yeah, right. Yeah, get over yourself, Preferably people. Put on some pants. Shoes. Oh yeah, that one dude. We go into Walmart here, and there's just a like a hippie looking guy. That's the best way to explain it, right? Yeah. A hippie look, a hippie couple where the girls wearing like shorts, but they're so short you can't see them. Mm-hmm. So you think she's not wearing pants? That alone makes me bah. Because and not even shoes. It was like just something else. Because that he wasn't even wearing them right. That's what it was. He was wearing a pair of shoes, but he didn't even have them on. He just had his foot in them, but his heel was crushing the back oh, down. Like, you I lazy when fuck. You do that. yeah. That's gross. You lazy fuck. Just put your shoe on. I don't want to see your stinking yeah, that's heel. That's gross. Or, or wear sandals or something that's yeah. appropriate. That's why they made slides. Mm-hmm. And then he had on sleep pants that had uh, ki- or peppers, mm-hmm. which I think is Tabasco sleep pants, by yeah. the way. And the which most- you can purchase at Walmart. Yeah, no, yeah. And the most god awful shirt ever. <laughs> Going, why? Yeah, I, I think we talked about this before. Like, if you're gonna wear pajamas out, like, make sure they're like passable for pants. Like, get you some black the, ones or something. The <laughs> only place that I feel like wearing pajamas is acceptable: a a slumber part out. Like, if you leave your house, going to a slumber party or going to a doctor's appointment. An if emergency you're really sick, room or, yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. You should not be wearing sleep pants to a Walmart. Yeah, no. And and if you're coming to the doctor's office for a refill, you do not wear pajamas. <laughs> no, we we still have people coming to cardiology appointments yeah. for a regular checkup mm-hmm. when they tell us that they feel fine. Yeah, in fuzzy pink pajama pants. Yeah, you're coming in with like your uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas pajamas in July for I might. refills on routine medication. I, I might and wear I'm just my. Like, I wear Christmas mm, pajamas all the it's time. It's two but. o'clock. Yeah. But not to routine doctor's appointments when you're 57 no. years old and no mm-hmm. better. This is one reason I'm glad. Also, my... please wear a bra. Mm-hmm. No, well, that's a different. Yeah. I'm, this is one reason I'm glad my mom instilled in me. Anytime I go out of the house, at least look decent. Like she goes, I don't at least have clothes on that make you look presentable. 
Because my hair is always fucked up. It's always just been a thing. Well, but the thing is, it's not. And because and, a lot of times I also hear, well, they may not have money. It's not about money either. Um, you know, just put on a pair of pants. Yeah. Like, and that's not hard to do. You have to own pants. Yeah. I mean, there are some places you can't go into if you wear sleep pants. Yeah. Like if I ran a restaurant and somebody came in in sleep pants, I'd kick them the fuck out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. I, mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to get on a soapbox in a second because fuck the... You know what happened on Saturday, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, you, you'll you'll understand what I'm going with this. Okay. So I'm going to trust you. I get on Facebook because social media has been just shitty lately, but it's been fun to watch people fall. Um, and I see something from one of our staff writers. Oh, yes. Shout out to KE. And uh, yeah, that one of her pieces got stolen, not from our site, but something she did a long time ago. And people need to know that she writes for herself. Yes. Um, and before she joined our staff, she would share her pieces. Because On a blog. She, but, her own blog. Yeah, because she loved what she, she loves. She loves to she write. Does. She yeah. loves to write. And she loves to share what she does. If you guys want to check out some of her stuff, Star Child Origins, I think, is her last tour. And part two is going up this week. So probably before this show goes up. So this probably sounds stupid of me saying this, yeah. but well, yeah. <laughs> um, and some some uh, some asshole stole her work. Yeah, and and I'm not going to name the website, but so I I decided to get I got pissed. I don't know how else to explain it. I guess I went into and what I don't know if this is the best way to term it, but I went into dad mode. I mean, it's appropriate. <laughs> And I was cursing out a storm. Like, it's just me by myself, too. No one else is here. And I'm like, those mother fuck son of a cunt waffles. Like, I'm just cursing everything that I could think of. And I decided to send them a message. I got my lawyer on the phone, and he sent their web host a message. And then he also sent them a message. His message to them, by the way, was not really that nice. He even put on it, if you don't take it down, we're going to own your fucking site and just put up pictures of Kermit the Frog sipping tea. Nice. I was like... <laughs> nice. I mean... <laughs> nice. nice. At that point, he's kind of got to let it go. Like, how do you... There's so much shit on the internet, and it's a place where everyone has this awesome creative outlet. Like, you can right. do whatever you want on the internet. Why steal someone's work and not give them any credit at all? Right. This is... They're just assholes. Yeah. I was pissed, but I'm going to read the message I got. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because, yeah, no, I sent, like I said, I sent right to their website and their social media, which, by the way, they don't have a Facebook page anymore. They don't have a, or there's another page they don't have either. Their Twitter's hard. To, their Twitter's hidden. Good. I was like, no, they. this oh, is before. Before? Yeah, no, oh. they're, they, they've been called so out on this shit before, I'm guessing. Oh, so they're already a little a little sleazy. Hmm. And uh, I, I will, if anybody wants to know, send me a message. I'll, I'll send the link to you if you guys want to just bombard them. Because they do this with a lot of pieces. Like, there's very few of them where they actually put the author. That's and that's despicable. ridiculous. Oh, it's shitty. And it's like this huge publishing website that oh. does editing for people. And this is a response they I get. Be ashamed. To whom it may concern. First of all, if you're going to email me that, I'm already just. Especially, I mean, because it's not like they don't know who to address it to. Yeah, no. Oh, no. They have my name. Yeah. They have my lawyer's name. And I know that her, like, I know people went and commented yeah. on the link, too, that she knows. Yeah. But I was like, I think I might be the only one who got a response. <laughs> Our flounces of flash fix. Flash fiction were provided by local college students. No, it wasn't. You just stole them off the fucking internet. It seems the material was put onto the site without appropriate measures being taken to ensure authenticity. We apologize for any appropriate use of this material and have taken down the post in accordance with your wishes. Whatever. You guys are dicks. Whatever. K.E. is a super special um, author to me. And yeah, she, she came to the site because of you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and and I met her mom um, probably almost almost ten years ago, maybe right at ten years um, online. Um, 
and so Katie is really special to me, and she is so very talented and wonderful, um, and she does she doesn't deserve to have her work stolen like no. that, um, and that, that's just absolutely despicable. So, so yeah, I didn't know I had this mood this mode in me. I until, think it's wonderful <laughs> until I until I saw that and I went, "You've it's got helpful. to be fucking kidding me!" Well, when when you um are maybe a little bit newer to this and you have something like that happen. Uh, it's really hard to know how to go about yeah. um, have, having that defended. There is one thing that the site does have that I'm pretty proud of, and that is you can't cop you can't copy and paste anything off our site. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I made that. I did that like six years ago or four years ago. I'm like, this ain't gonna happen. The only one who can do that is I, if I'm logged in, I can do it. Yeah. Well, you need to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's it. So, but yeah, fuck them. Fuck them for that email, by the way. Who uses flounces in a fucking message? Yeah, that's is that even a word? word? I have no I mean, idea. It is a word. Like, how, how do you use it appropriately? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's how you appropriately use it. Flounces. I'm looking this. Uh, let's go to the Webster's Dictionary. Like Flounce is a movement. Go yeah. or move in exaggeratedly impatient or angry manner. Are found, flounces a fiction? That's why when I hear it, it's like I get a mm-hmm. little... Are impatient like, or angry fiction? You're a twat like, waffle. Like that's, that's exactly how we, <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what I imagine with that word. Yeah. Like what? Uh, he stood up in a fury and flounced out. That's yes, the sentence. Exactly. I, Does I that not go along but, with that? When, when you say flounce, I don't ever assume it goes with a he. Like I I see a girl in like five petticoats. It, she flounced out. off to her room. Yep. She left the room with a flounce. Well, it makes me um if I'm gonna think of a male Flouncing. I imagine um, he's in a petticoat as well. I imagine <laughs> pretty much. Imagine the man that worked um, the desk in Gilmore Girls. Yes. Yeah, yes, that's who I see flouncing. <laughs> By the way, I just started watching those again. Like I'm gonna sit down and finish it because one, Hannah will be super proud of me, and two, I she really will. like that show. Yeah, it's a good show. <laughs> it is. So, a good show. so yeah, I can see him flouncing. So I, I got to know something. So yeah, so fuck them. And if you want to know the website, I'm not going to give them publicity on my show. Fuck them. Uh, send me a message and I'll send it to you. And if you want to destroy them, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, they deserve it. If you want to hack them like Mike Pence was website right now, which is funny <laughs> as shit, you could do that too. Uh, Sharon, why haven't you brought that cotton candy machine to the show? I'll give it to you. I, I, don't, well, I just want you to I make cotton candy. I don't want ca- it. We got to find someone that'll come in and just make cotton candy while we're recording. That would be fun. Sharon has a cotton candy machine that I did I not do. know about until today. I would I prefer we only, not make cotton candy in the house. I think I've only used it like twice. I, cotton it, candy makes a mess. But it's so good. I have I used cotton a cotton candy. candy maker before. Yeah, but if we have someone do it, that means we don't get messy. They get messy. I love cotton candy. It's delicious. Cotton candy is the just the shit. It's like, like my favorite thing to get when we go to the theater because, you know, we have... That's a random thing to Well, they make the, it there. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. You know, because we have a great theater here in Paragol. We have Shout the out to we the Paragol Cinema I know 8. we've done a terrible thing. We've not, been, no, we've no. not talked about them in a really long we don't, time. We haven't talked about them, but I still mention them a lot on some other <laughs> shows. Yeah. Well, we love our, our Paragol Cinema 8 here. Uh, and they, they hand make their, well, of course, that's mostly how you do it. But they make them in-house. Yeah, it's not the shipped in yeah, cotton candy. Yeah, it's not store-bought cotton candy. And yeah. I've had different flavors of cotton candy now besides pink and blue. <laughs> yeah, they make all kinds there. Um I, that's I think their their pink is watermelon. I'm not a big fan of watermelon. Strawberry is usually my favorite pink. Yeah, when it's I, th- that. I think theirs is watermelon. The the best place for me to get cotton candy a is like a fair. Mm-hmm. That's the best cotton candy in the world. Every well, they don't do it every single year now, but Jesse's Factory does a big family picnic, and they do like bouncy houses. Can you adopt me that day? <laughs> um, well, if I can't go one time, like maybe it'll be on a, a year while I have to work, All and right. you can have my wristband. That's sweet. But you get to eat for free, and you get like. Can you play bingo? Because I've yes. been to one of those that you could play yes. bingo, win gift cards. You I'll can, just do that all day. I won't give a shit. And you get funnel cakes for free, and ice cream, and um, cotton candy, and you get as much as you want. I love funnel cakes. So I underrated. Know. It is like you get. It's like going to the fair for free and getting prizes and everything. It's wonderful. So with that cinnamon awesome. and sugar and powdered sugar. Mm-hmm. I love mine with cinnamon. Yep. That's weird. I know. It's absolutely wonderful. God, now I want a fucking funnel cake. Damn it. I want cotton candy. But this is what I'm saying. We need to do this for an episode where we have just, we make cotton candy. 
Like I we'll have some. The machine. We'll have it's someone just taking come up to, room in my house, and I don't need it. How big is it? It's not big. But it's, it's not a like, cart, is it? Because no, <laughs> I still want one of the popcorn carts. I, it's probably about the size of I don't know a small microwave. Oh, that's not bad. But I still don't need it. So no, I want one of the popcorn carts so bad because I thought that'd be like one when we have a house. That's the coolest centerpiece you could have in an office, is it not? Yeah, that, that's pretty. Bad. And then I, I could so. just pop popcorn while I'm doing the like cinnamon. How did that stove popcorn popper work? That I, got I love off? that thing. Is it good? Yeah, I love popcorn. Like that's he does. That's, he, he's super into popcorn. That is one of my favorite snack foods ever. Uh, Aldi is releasing a wine advent calendar. I know this is not. Are no, no, I got ridiculously excited about this. This it's is a wine, winos, this is a winos topic. Does not we're going to cover it on live because it just happened today and we're really excited about this. Aldi has had this wine advent calendar for years and it's never been in the U.S. until, until this, now. yes. And on November, is it November 7th? November 7th, you can purchase it at any Aldi that's that sells wine. The closest one to us is like an hour and a half away, mm-hmm. and we've already made plans to go there to buy one because they sell out super fast every time. I will be there when it opens. There is also, side note, a cheese advent calendar that's getting released this year. A wine and cheese advent calendar. <laughs> and you can purchase both of them for less than $85. You know what we should do on an episode? Uh, we should use this for Are You Still Watching? By the way, if you haven't checked out our new show, you should. Are You Still Watching? TBKRadio.com. We're binging the show. Netflix. We're binging uh, The Office on Netflix. When that comes out, because I'm going to assume we're still doing the show by then. I'm sure. We should do an episode of the Finer Things Club. Yes. <laughs> do wine yes, and we cheese. should. Do wine and cheese. Because I think <sighs> that might be a right around the time those episodes are happening. Because Pam's pregnant. That's season six. We should be close to that. I love that show so much. Check out Are You Still Watching on TVKRadio.com and on iTunes. It's like one of your best ideas ever. That is. I'm just going to tell phenomenal. you guys now. If you guys haven't listened to that or said a crap. I, I have to say, Cinecrap and Are You Still Watching have become two of my favorite shows to do. Uh, Cinecrap, we we ripped the Lion King a new asshole. <laughs> we did not. We discussed incest. There's incest in the Lion King. Lots of incest. Well, that kind of goes along with any royal family. <laughs> no joke. So it, it was a blast. It was a fun episode. Check out that on... Center crap uh, on every platform we have. It was also very nice to have more information than Richard about something. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, I wasn't even technically. The, I pulled a co-host role in that episode because, like, she's given the facts, and I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll just make jokes. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was Richard a, was not as good at the Lion King as I was. I was super happy. I, I was like, yes, I'm. I'm sweet with that. That's great for me. We can do that anytime you want to do a <laughs> Disney. Uh, so to get a little serious now, because we kind of have to. Uh, have, did you see the casting for Batwoman? Oh, uh, Ruby Rose mm-hmm. is yes. I'm super excited about this. I love her on Orange Is the New Black. I think she's typically just loved. Like I don't think I've ever heard of anyone that disliked her. You say that, but she got ran off Twitter. <sighs> Motherfuckers! That's the second time this this episode that I have cursed. Yeah. People Holy crap, are, everybody! Yeah, second time. <laughs> well, that's because people are terrible. People are really awful. Uh, Sharon, if you have Sharon cursing on episode <laughs> 133, <laughs> four, you, you just can won. check off that bingo square. Uh, I will send you a half eaten Smithfield ham. Go ahead. People are terrible. What's the problem with them? I mean, we've got, so Kelly Marie She's Tran. She's stunning. Oh, like, Ruby Rose. Or, yeah. <laughs> I just completely, well, that's not the right name, is completely amazing. And I, I can't believe she got ran off. Because people are terrible. But it's because of what she's doing. Okay, so for anybody who does not know, Batwoman, there's the earlier version of Batwoman in the comics, and then DC relaunched the comic in 2006 as a gay character. And I think that's where the problem comes in for everybody, going, my superheroes can't be gay. But... The idea is to give people a better representation. Superheroes are for everyone. Yes, they and, are for everyone, and, and everyone yeah. deserves to have, to have someone they that you can relate to. Right, to have someone that they can look up to, someone that they can relate to, someone when they're having a bad day have some type of representation. And I'm super stoked for her being Batwoman because I think it's going to be awesome. And she shows yeah. up in Arrow this December, so and I'm the Arrowverse right now is clicking on all cylinders. Yeah. 
because one, we're going to see Stephen Amell in a couple of weeks. Wrestling at All In, which by the way, we might end up with an interview with Stephen. We don't know who our interviews which are with. Which would be really exciting. So if that happens, bragging rights. I will say though, and Jesse's not too terribly sure about how she's going to do in the role. Not because he just likes her. He really likes her a lot. But he doesn't know. But it's more of a, is she right for that role? Yeah. But he's definitely willing to give her a shot. But it just makes me really disappointed of just people in general being well, terrible. And then, and then there's going to be a trans hero or a trans superhero in Supergirl. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's awesome. Right. CW, where the movies aren't getting it right. CW and the comics are. They are. And they've actually been doing pretty good at that yeah. for a long time now. So CW went out of their way when they decided they're going to do Batwoman. Went out of their way to make sure they cast a gay person as right. and, Batwoman. And a yeah. transgender person yeah. in a transgender role, which is something even movies are struggling with understanding. Yeah, because uh, mm-hmm. that just happened with Scarlett Joe. And yeah, well, and Netflix has done well with two. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know they they've gotten that right. Which you know maybe it's not directly Netflix because sometimes they're just picking up a bunch of whole, whole well, bunch yeah. of stuff. But they've been successful at least in picking up things that have done it. So right. why are we running off our celebrities off Twitter? What is the fucking deal with people? I don't right know. Now? It's Entitlement. Really strange. Well, it's it, is it because you think because you're the biggest fan of this that yes, it's the way you. It has well, to be the way that you envisioned it or it's not the right thing. And it's kind of weird, too, though, I think, because we've almost got, like, two different layers of celebrities. Like, we've got, like, I don't know, like, older ones, classic ones that people kind of don't mess with. And then the young ones, they're yeah. just like, because no, no one's going to come after Mark Hamill because Mark Hamill is Mark fucking Hamill. Right, and yeah. we've got, like, we've got, like, Brad Pitt or, you know, like, no one's. I don't know. It's just more like... With the exception are... of Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah no, you're right. You know, Speaking but, of well, which, we have but, a Tom Cruise story. That, that's kind of his own fault. So. so we've got some that are just a little more cemented. Ones that I feel like they don't feel like they can touch. Yeah, no. They're, Pretty they're social some... media stars. Yeah. Right. And then we've got these ones who are really who are more attainable, who are more willing to be in interact. touch. Yeah, interact with their fans. Right. Who want to have a communication with people. This is a great yeah. era because we have an opportunity... To interact with the people we look up to. Oh, there's something else I got to talk about. Because they understand that it is a two-way street. And that's one of the things that's been so great about going to conventions and hearing these people. They want to be involved with fans. Because they understand that the reason they're able to do what they do is because we love seeing what they do. That's the best part. The convent... Like, even just having... Being retweeted by someone that you look up to is the shit. Like, Super excited having them read an article that that we've done. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! When yeah. I, 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 t- I, so I posted a uh, a meme about Pam Beasley being the bad guy in the office, and it was liked by Angela. And yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "That's fan freaking tastic!" Right. Yeah. So it's a little things like that that's just great. But there's these ass wipes. We are cursing a lot in today's yeah. episode. It's deserved. There are these ass wipes who decide, hey, this isn't what I envisioned. Fuck you. And just try to destroy it for everyone else. Those are the type of fans I don't want to be around. And it's that way in everything. Maybe it does go back to what you're saying about being entitled because it's kind of like going back to high school when there's people who can't even appreciate the fact that there's a school play going on. Something as I love, simple and childish as that. I love theater. Like I and I will go see anything. I told you that because yeah. I mean, if by the way, if you go to a high school play, let me know. Yeah, Zeke and I used to go all the time after I um, graduated high school. I continue to support my local because I don't have. I'm not from here, while. so yeah. I don't. I don't have one to support. Yeah, but that's the thing right now because I'm like, if you're gonna be this way. Because I'm just gonna say it. Star Wars is the perfect example, and Brody and I covered this on the last episode that he was on. Mm-hmm. It's for kids. Let's just say what it is. Doctor Who's originally for kids. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And yet, we're just assholes. Like, there's just this yeah. group of people who are just like, assholes about it. Sure. It, it'd be like, um, okay, so I was a fan of iCarly. I watched it with my kids. You watched it, right? Yeah. High five. <laughs> but it, it would be absolutely insane for us to start throwing a big fit because there was an episode we didn't like, not because it was... Um, say child inappropriate or anything like that. That would be fine if we got it. Beef coon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was a little questionable, but anyway, that was a line. Yeah, there's a little you got close stuff there. Panda pig. But 
it would be insane for us to be like, well, that actor did, did not meet what we thought about so and so. Like it, it's not it's not um, for us as adults to get involved in that type of thing because that was made for children. We just happen to really enjoy it. No, it, this it, is very true. And I love those shows. I'm working on it. Okay, so coming this week, and I don't know if it's going to be before the show goes up or Friday. I am working on a top a five list of the top five weirdest Nicktoon fan theories, and one of them is an iCarly fan theory where Jerry Trainer's character from Drake and Josh kidnaps Carly's character from Drake and Josh, move to Seattle and start a whole new life, and he convinces her that her name's Carly. Interesting. That's very strange. And I was like, I got to write about this. <laughs> but that's where I'm at because we've got to do better. Like yeah. these, these are our franchises. So speaking of this, though, there was something very similar to this that happened with the Steven Universe fandom last year. Um, that everybody got all up in arms because most Jinx of the, Monsoon. most of the main characters are voiced by females because right. all of and the then- gems are referred to as female. Mm-hmm. There was a drag queen that was a huge fan of the show that got cast in a minor role. Mm-hmm. Like five minutes of I screen time Jake's and talking. Monst- and if Jake. you just hear it, you do not know that that is not a born female. <laughs> you don't. And the fans of the show went absolutely ape shit over it. Because... That's not a female. That's not who's supposed to be voicing these. Why are they even being allowed to do this? Did, this isn't right. So, don't, don't people understand that voice work has been done by multiple, like by genders that don't fit that? Because yeah, there's. I mean, girl, like, most little Simpson boys is, are is, girls. Bart Simpson is voiced by Nancy Cartwright. So is Chucky from. So Rugrats. is Tommy. I mean, yeah. all, all of the Rugrats are, I think, are voiced by females. They yeah. are. That you, you that get is probably the that. most ridiculous reason that I think I've ever heard. Uh, that fandom I mean, is weird. Are we gonna get to where like it's kind of like, like with little kids, like okay, you've acted so badly, we're not gonna do it at all. Like, are things gonna get start getting shut down? Is this the reason I like going to bigger cons? Is because I think the fans are more accepting. Probably because the littler cons, you get the. I think you get more of that type the, of fan. the crazy hardcore fan yeah. that thinks they're right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's hard to see that kind of stuff because you see the fans that are real fans of this stuff and they love what's going on. And even if it's not something they love, they're OK with it and they understand that it's not all about them. Like, I want to be able to talk to people that do have different ideas than mine and can we can have talk a real about conversation. it. We can talk about it and we can entertain possible different theories and, mm-hmm. you know, like, let's let's talk about it. So, and- so Jinx Monsoon also classifies as non-binary. Mm-hmm. So let's throw that out there too. So I mean that, and that still just pissed people off. I yeah, don't get it. doesn't matter. Not a woman. It's such a great cartoon in general, though. And it teaches so much about acceptance and loving who you are and being mm-hmm. happy with everyone. And then you're gonna act like this. The whole idea, though, to me, like that shouldn't even be relevant. Voice work, like that whole thing, just it's there. weird, right? Oh my gosh, so many characters are voiced by. You like you wouldn't even begin to be able to guess with whether a person was male or female who no. was voicing that, that no, character. You can't. But she was so like like Jinx was so excited. So excited. Like That's her show. Do, do they they, they had been a fan for so long. I mean, do they know that Brian on Family Guy's not voiced by a dog? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure at this point. I mean, they were going to be like super upset when they find that out. I know. Poor Jinx lobbied to be on this stinking show for three, for real three, three years, years. Yeah. before they were finally given a part. She's and awesome. It's <sighs> water off a duck's back. It makes me so sad that yeah that they got treated this way because it's not appropriate. That's not get, how you treat people. I got a mission now. I think I'm going to try to get Jinx on the show. You might be able to pull that one, especially. Uh, yeah, September fourteenth. September. September fourteenth. We are going to be at RuPaul's Drag Race Work the World Tour in St. Louis. In St. Louis at, at the, the pageant. pageant. Yeah, and I I think I'm coming back with interviews, so that could be fun. Woo! Yeah. So I can just get this out of my system one time. It's the only time it'll happen on the show. Vanji. All right, so let's go. Ahead. No, you scared the dog. Okay, so. <laughs> she she she'd be okay. She'd be okay. All right. So I think I think it's good that we're now like going back to some fun. 
Uh, Green Lantern's about to be cast, and the front runner is Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yes. Oh no, that is so no! bad. I mean, they're ugh. talking about people being too old to be superheroes. And then they find Ew. the six. If Batfleck is too old, Tom Cruise is too old. Ugh. I'm like, nope, I'm out. Oh, that's going to be really bad. <laughs> they're killing that. They cannot get oh Green Lantern gosh. apparently, Ugh. but he is the front runner. I don't Why think he's going to win. So no bad at Green Lantern. Why are they so bad at Green like, Lantern? No one will go watch it. Yeah, I'm actually. That would be a box office flop. Yeah, like okay, we love Ryan Reynolds, and that first one was bad. Like that wasn't his fault. That was riding. No, no that was that was a hundred percent not his fault. But also involved Hal Jordan. Oh wait, that might be characters. Never mind. That, that is yeah, the character. Yeah. I was going to say. Well, there's um, a stand-up maybe. comic with the name of Hal Jordan too, so I didn't know if that's what it was. Then no, I realized. No. I Continue mean, on. It's not going to matter how good the writing is this time. If it's, if it's Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise, we're done. I'm not going. And then it's probably going to turn out being a great friggin' movie. And if you would put the right person in it, it would have been phenomenal. Well, they haven't casted it yet, but he is the front runner. No, I really, really hope they go a different direction. I mean, Idris. This. I'm. Uh, by the way, the rumor that Idris Elba could be James Bond is made me the happiest fan ever. God, yes. Because I think I called that like three years ago you that did. he was going to be the next James Bond. He would be an amazing James Bond. He yeah. is a very good-looking individual. I would be really excited and a very for wonderful to do voice. something different like that. That yeah. would be so and a nice. very wonderful voice. I just enjoy seeing films with him in them. Season five of The Office, Sharon Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Sharon sent me a story today that I still don't understand how this works. How did this lady lose her contact lens? So, <laughs> I have not heard this. Dude, this okay. is bad. So, this girl was 14, and she was playing badminton, and she got hit in the eye um, mm-hmm. with a little shuttlecock, mm-hmm. and she lost her contact. Okay. Or so she thought. Um, shuttlecock's 20, just funny to me. <laughs> 28 years later... She um, developed like drooping in her eyelid and her eyelid started swelling. She went to the doctor and they did some imaging uh, mm-hmm. and they went in to remove what they thought was a cyst. Uh, and it turned out it was her contact lens. Uh, it was like when the hard contact lens mm-hmm. and apparently it had gotten lodged in her eyelid. And so it had been there for 28 years. How do you not, not know you have a contact well, it's lens? It's kind of like the stuck, same. I don't know. In your eyelid for 28 years. I don't know. Years. And at first, like when they were talking to this girl and her mom, they had no idea like how it was there. Um, <laughs> they Because, I mean, 28 years is a really long time. When did it click that it was the badminton accident? That's 28 my question. Years. Uh, but then apparently um, they, they got to talking and they were like, after that event, they had decided that uh, they weren't going to wear a contact lens anymore. Um, she decided, you know, that she had too much trouble with it. It wasn't worth it. And they, she remembered that she couldn't, she never found it after that. <laughs> That's crazy. That is ridiculous. 28 years. And those hard contacts are terrible. Can you like, imagine you not having know? that in your eyeball, like almost your whole end up? How did it off? not give her more trouble before she didn't then? any of that, yeah. Apparently, it had just been bothering her for like a few months, and yeah, she's lucky Ugh. she's not blind. I hate eye things. Like, oh, it's that episode of Corner Ugh. Gas, and I'm like, when Brent can't touch his eye, that's exactly how I feel. If I ever get uh, contacts, I'm just going to glasses. Yeah, I, I'm not. No, I wear I, contacts, but it took me a really long time. Um, mm-hmm. And when I when I first decided I wanted to, because it's really inconvenient to like cook where you're wearing glasses and they steam up, or if you do a lot of stuff out, outside, like um. If you're like swimming in a river or whatever, yeah. Um, but um, the the doctor or the the eye doctor that was uh, with me, he had a gentleman there that would help people. Uh, and I'm not even kidding; it took me like probably almost two hours uh, to put them in, and then I had to go back like the next day to get additional help. Uh, it was really sad, and he was so very patient with me. Oh, uh, but otherwise, I probably would not be wearing contacts now. So. Well, you know, they make little tiny like plunger things that you can use to take your contacts in and out now so you don't have no, to actually touch your eye. I did not know that. It, they do, and they look slightly terrifying, but apparently work really, really well for people that have trouble putting contacts in. I might have to keep that in mind in case, you know. It happens. Back. But the, putting them in and out is the the most I could manage. Like, I even have, I even hate having to just go and get my eye exam done because I don't like other people being that close to my eyes either. 
See, bad. I'm I'm cool with eyes. I don't like mouths. They seem the eyeballs seem like so squishy and mm-hmm. uh, fragile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I mean, exactly. almost everybody's dissected one if you've gone through college anatomy classes, I mean, and they're 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 kind of gross and gelatinous. Yeah. So speaking of, <laughs> we're in the greatest timeline right now. Ashley sent me a story that I thought, you know what, we're living in the best part time in this world. <laughs> And I sent it to you, and you're like, it looks like a dog bowl. But Padera has released. It does. Padera is releasing a bread but bowl that has two soups in it. You can order two soups in okay. a bread bowl. Okay, though, the photo that I sent you was a soup and a macaroni and cheese. Yes. You can put a macaroni and cheese in and a bread bowl, which is the two best carbs of all time. Yeah, that is a lot of carbs. But it and you're going to have to go home and take a nap. <laughs> but it's okay, because you know when you go to Panera, you're going to have to get a pastry as well, because you, you have to. It's only, what, 99 cents or something uh-huh. to add it on. And I love, that's the only reason I enjoy, I think Panera is overrated anyway, but you put soup in a bread bowl? I'm kind of there. I Did you know get chicken noodle soup and it's really good. One reason I want to go to a, mini, or, uh, yeah, no, uh, Renaissance Fair. Did you know in St. Louis, they call it St. Louis um, Bread Company? Yeah, because that's where, it, I think it's where it started, actually. Mm. A lot of ones up to the northern half of the states call it St. Louis. It's it's one of those things that has two names, kind of like um, but before when you it went actually, out, Dixie Cafe was either Dixie Cafe or Delta Cafe, depending on where you were. But then you go inside and everything still says Panera. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, mm, okay. But soup in a bread bowl, but then you can get two things in a bread bowl. That's the greatest. That that That's why we're in the greatest timeline. I'm, I'm a little surprised just, that we haven't gone to Panera since I sent you that. I thought about doing that for my birthday. You still can. But I'm thinking I'm leaning towards chilies because I, I, I honest to God, think I'm going to do. I can feel God in this chilies tonight. Do you want second drink? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and part of me is just like, can I get some booze <laughs> for reasons? Uh, really quick, one other story before we take a break. Uh, a dude in Georgia stole $1,000 worth of ramen noodles. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How did he get those three semi trucks of ramen noodles? Deputies are looking into a theft of a large trailer holding the massive amounts of soup. The 53 foot trailer was parked at a Chevron store on the Georgia Interstate Highway 85 North. The theft occurred somewhere in between July 25th and August 1st. The local sheriff said the trailer had been secured at the time. The owner of the trailer estimated that $98,000 worth of ramen was on board. Oh my gosh. Ramen's like How? 10 cents a pack. How do you steal $98,000 like, like, worth of ramen? It's like That's impressive. It's like a dollar 98 for like one of those like big cases of them. The 12 pack, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's impressive. Like during the summer I try to keep some at home for my kids while I'm at work and I can never remember to check to see if they have any more. And so I just buy them more when I'm at the store. And we can't currently have like five boxes of those. Nice. It is, yeah. It's that I consider to be massive amounts. Can you imagine having one of those trucks full? No shit. No shit. That's like five years worth of ramen. (laughs) If you ate it three times a day. Yeah. Like you're set for the zombie apocalypse and you don't need electricity. No joke. See, that's one of the things that like when people go crazy around here when it's supposed to snow and they have to get like bread and milk and eggs. I don't understand why. Because what are you going to do with those when the power goes out? Bread, I got you. But milk, what are you going to do? That's why I like having those tuna packs. So, yeah. We always do peanut butter and jelly stuff. Yeah. So, and I think ramen's great because all you have to do is is, like boil you some water and then. Yeah, because you can boil water without having. Without having electricity. You just got to be able. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it might be to, difficult for some people, but, but there's this thing it. called fire. Right. <laughs> so, yep. you know. Uh, really quick, before we take a break, Sharon, do you have any shows you you should binge? Um, I just finished watching Insatiable. Um, I need to check that on out. On Netflix. Mm-hmm. I know you don't because we watch the same shit. Uh, I am currently binging um, My Anna. Hero Academia, actually. Yeah, that's what she's watching. Uh, I got two. Uh, my ex, my crazy ex girlfriend. It's a musical. It is freaking great. I did not know about this. I it, it took me watching something else to make me go. I need to see this because she wrote a musical on for YouTube. That's a junior high musical of Breaking Bad. Nice. And she's hilarious. So I was like, because you saw the episode. Yeah. The other thing is, and this is the one I feel like everyone should check out. But you have to have a YouTube Red account. Is Rhett and Link's <laughs> buddy system. This is the funniest freaking thing I've seen on YouTube. It It is pretty hilarious. We I watched the, the entire seasons. second season. You watched the first one before I got home, but we watched the entire second season together. Yeah, we, we watched the entire second season, and I was sending you stuff from it. 
uh, the video of the ad. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know if you watched it, mm-hmm. but it is hysterical. That show is damn funny, is it not? It is. So check out Rhett and Link's buddy system. You got to get YouTube red, but you can get 30 days free if you sign up. So, I mean, that's not a big deal. And so, I promise you, you can finish this before yeah, you can binge days it. Up. You can binge it in a day, both seasons. Cause Richard did. I did. It was one of the few days that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just binge it. And I, I fall in love with Good Mythical Morning. So I was like, I got to check this out. All right. When we come back after the break, we are going to debate the newest bracket at tbkmagazine.com. It is the Marvel versus DC bracket. Ooh. We're going to do Marvel first, then DC, and then decide who wins the damn thing. Uh, before we go to break, I do have something else. I've got a lot of emails on what's going on with the halls. <laughs> yes. I probably should cover this. You probably should. Uh, so I told Sharon what I was doing a while back. I believe that I am going to be dropping the word hottie and hunk. Not because we don't find these people attractive, because mostly we do. Yeah. I mean, we're, it's more of a crush. Uh, to quote Jennifer Page, ah, it's just a crush. Okay. But I feel that these people inspire us and all everything else, like inspire us, make us want to do better. These are the people we look up to sometimes. I feel that alone. They get put in there for different reasons. Yeah. 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 So that alone, I feel the entire hall will be lumped together, men and women. And it's just going to be called the hall. Now, the nutsy categories are still going to be the same. There'll be a hall inductee for women and hall inductee for men. But that's it. But the word hottie and hunk has been go- is slashed. And I'm going to re-induct some people. Because I, when I started it, it was just jokes. That's all it was. It was just a joke. And it has evolved into us making some jokes. But mostly talking about how awesome these people are and what yeah. they've done and how they inspire us and all yeah. that. So there's a lot of people who are getting reinducted. So you're going to see that over the next couple of months. And my probably my I've got a few coming up, so stick around for that. Now that I got that out of the way, so I don't have to have any more emails on those. <laughs> and I think it's great that people have noticed that we changed it. Yeah, yeah. like that. That Thank to you. me is really Thank awesome. you for that. Yeah. No, no the, the next day I changed all of them. I spent one night going, okay, so let's find out what I need to get rid of. And I'm looking at, I think I deleted a hundred inductions. 106, actually, I think is the number. And they're mostly Hall of Hotties inductions, too. <laughs> but, well, I mean... Did you do those, Richard? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I also got rid of the induction of... Uh, the Hunks induction of uh, Danny Trejo, but that's another argument. Uh, <laughs> I did not write that one. <laughs> Just letting everyone know that was not me. You, you do not find Danny Trejo attractive? It's not... No. I think he's <laughs> awesome, but no. Uh, but yeah, no, the next day, and I changed that at night because I've been doing all my work late at night, like all the website yeah. updates. Within probably two hours of me going to bed, what happened to the halls? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Like, that's, yeah, crap, I think that's man. It's absolutely wonderful that people notice. Because the front page of the website changed. Yeah. And it's a very slight change because now Blue Fox is blue is on the front page. Cause, Which is awesome. Because I love her artwork. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to co- we're going to take a break. Uh, stick around some commercials maybe an awkward bat we'll be back with more of the most random show on the internet tbk live after a long day nothing beats a good glass of wine but there's only one problem you don't want to leave the house we have remedied that for you visit knockingpointwines.com Knocking Point is a global winery that makes premium wines curated by celebrities and tastemakers and delivers them directly to your doorstep. You don't even have to leave the house. You get four shipments a year. It's like Christmas morning, but for adults. Visit KnockingPointWines.com and use the code TBK to get $20 off your first wine box. KnockingPointWines.com you're traveling through another dimension a dimension not only of sight and sound but of mind to boldly go where no man has gone before i am your father the bears the bears treat yourself 2011 Sheila! i swear to god i'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans hey 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 what 
is going on here? Welcome to the ultimate nerd debate, which doesn't have a new intro dun, dun, or anything. Dun. So, I almost just knocked my coffee over. It has a lid. I was smart this time. At least it's not near your keyboard this there, time. No, shut up. There's a lie about 15 cups with lids. So that story. I had those same ones. I think they're great. Yeah. These it's, are awesome. It's like a mantra. The, you know? These uh, because I really have eaten cake for breakfast. Oh, I get it. I do frequently. The, legit breakfast. And if toy. you do, and if Sharon does eat it, she spills it on the bed. That's I've, only no. cheesecake. <laughs> That's only cheesecake. I mean, because if you can eat muffins for breakfast, there's no problem with cake. If you can eat pancakes, I feel like you can eat a cake. It's true. The first day I took one of those to work with coffee in it, I stopped and got donuts. Nice. <laughs> you and didn't tell me this. I sent you a picture of it. Did Does you she have to clear all yes. of her breakfast decisions with you? No. Yes, clearly <laughs> he thinks that I do. Yeah. Uh, I, I had cocoa puffs for breakfast this morning too, and I'm probably going to do it again tomorrow. Is I, that all right? So I tried eating the Reese's Puff cereal, and it's just not settling well with me. It's the only cereal it hasn't. I don't know why. I love Reese's Puffs. Have you tried eating it dry? That's how I've been eating it. Oh, try eating it wet then. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> yes. You did. Oh, I did. I uh, did. Where was I going with this? I had something else I was going to say. Ultimate nerd debate. Yeah, there was something else I was going to throw. Cake oh, for breakfast. I lost my keyboard. I'm now on my second keyboard because when I was had my surgery for my nose, when they used cocaine, I spilled beer on my <laughs> keyboard. Which, by the way, I probably should have been drinking the week after surgery, but... You, you still had pain bills going on, too. Yeah, I had so the good was... stuff, so I was lit while we played Cards Against Humanity. And you... Had to drink out of your giant medieval times glass. Medieval times. That's just a thing. Which holds like three and a half beers. Speaking of which, we're going there. I'm so excited. In Chicago. Yeah. At the end of the month. Uh, visit starcast.com. Check out everything they're doing because we're going to be there on Sunday on Podcast Row. And uh, and then Sunday night at Medieval Times. Medieval time, yeah. Get your tickets, because I mean, join us. Join us to, at Medieval Times. You have to let me know what side they set you on. I swear to God, if it's yellow, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna... But we won. Did we win last time? Yes. So, he decided you know. if it was yellow again, he was going to ask him to move us. I was going to throw. <laughs> I'm totally going to throw a BF if it's yellow. So, but it's not like we like it happened the exact same way last time. No. Place, so, but I'm super because if excited. it had. I mean, then we yeah. had the right to be angry. Because our night lost first the last yeah. time, yeah. and then he won this time. So I figure like, it, what we'll get in Chicago will be somewhere in the middle. So Which is appropriate. And I'm super excited about going to a different castle. I want the black ca- and white one, though. I'm super excited about going to a different castle. Because I want to know if the sure. show's different, or because they, apparently they are. So That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, now back to the... <laughs> Richard has decided from now on magazine trips have to be to cities... Dallas, that Chicago, near, or Baltimore. We're that are near <laughs> medieval times. <laughs> or Orlando. We'll, we'll throw in Orlando. Or Toronto. I'd go to Toronto. Not without a passport, you can't. Well, no, but... <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> things have kind of changed. Yeah, no. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't do outside the country travel just now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that we're quite as friendly neighbors anymore. Uh, we know some people in Canada. I feel like we know the they're other coming. side of right. Canada. I was going to say, it's not that we don't love Canada. No, we it's love Canada because that, I can well. name like six of my favorite TV shows and three of them are from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are doing a Marvel versus DC tournament. On one side, it's Marvel. On the other, DC. The ultimate nerd debate. The, all, the winners of each bracket will duel in the end. We're going to fill out our Marvel side first. Okay. And we're going to take a break. Then we're going to fill out our DC side, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to argue who wins this damn thing. Okay. So, I'm going to let everyone know what the voting has been for the fans. And right now, I'm actually going to reveal who just won. Dun, dun, dun. Because I... I know who was in the lead, and I'm not happy about it. Yeah, there's an upset. There is an upset, unless it's changed in between now and then. I sincerely hope it has. Uh, I'm checking votes right now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You're looking at me. I was like, we talked about this earlier today. So yeah, no, there's you're there's like, you're like, don't you want to know? And yeah, we talked about this that like uh, Superman defeated Harley Quinn. Damn. Well, I saw that one coming. I mean, I was hoping that Superman wouldn't progress. Just because... Aquaman has defeated Shazam. We... <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is what I expected, but it was close. It, yeah, it was damn close because like because it's a Shazam movie. It looks so good. Uh, let's see. Next up, Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman defeated the Joker. And the last one, I think Catwoman 
handedly beat yeah Catwoman defeated Batgirl sixty one. That's what I expected. Hmm. So that is the bracket filled out by the fans is Spider Man versus Ant Man in the second round, Phoenix against Captain America, Wolverine and Captain Marvel, which that was a huge upset, and Deadpool against Iron Man. On the other side, Batman and the Flash, Green Lantern versus Constantine, Superman versus Aquaman, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and Wonder Woman versus Catwoman. So, side note. Yeah. If Tom Cruise is now Green Lantern, I can no longer vote for Green Lantern. <laughs> I think that, Constantine's going to beat Green that, Lantern. That either way, if if Tom Cruise is now mm. Green Lantern, I do not feel like in good conscience I can decide to vote Green Lantern even for the first <laughs> round anymore. So here we go. We're going to do our bracket because I'm going to put this up. So we actually, hey, at least we're doing this before they finish the bracket, unlike our Disney yeah. one. So first up, Spider-Man and Venom. I'm going to get your guys' answers first before I chime in. Because if they're different, I'm going to be the deciding vote. You're going to tell me why I should pick. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, Sharon, who are you picking? Um, I already did this one. Yeah, yeah. but It is it is Spider-Man. Ashley, who are you picking? It is also Spider-Man. Yeah, no, I would have been also Spider-Man. I absolutely ah. love Venom, but... But Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. And which incarnation of Spider-Man, though? Then I mean, this is all incarnations, but what's your favorite version of Spider-Man? Um, Amazing Spider-Man. You. I don't have favorites. I, I'm gonna say something weird. There was an MTV cartoon. It, it. I think Neil Patrick Harris was the voice of Spider-Man. Oh, that's why you're picking it. No, it's just fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's done differently. It's hmm. like computer animated video game. It's pretty cool. We need to look this up. I just love the Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, that's just what we, what I mean. You would have grown up with it. Yeah, that's this a great just cartoon. what I grew up with. It's a great and cartoon. The Venom Saga uh, fell into that too, and I love the Venom Saga. Yeah. So the next one is going to be between Sharon and I, so you're going to be the deciding factor if we're different. Okay. Ant-Man and Black Widow. Do you want me to go first? Um, I was just trying to remember what I said. Yeah, go ahead. I'm picking Ant-Man. I said Black Widow. Okay, so what's yeah. your reasoning? Um, Because we have to convince her to choose your character. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that. <laughs> Sharon's like, oh, crap. <laughs> Maybe you should start then. I'll, I'll so start. she can have a moment to think and collect herself. Marvel made Ant-Man relevant. That's my argument. Because did you know much about Ant-Man before the movie? No, I mean, I didn't. That's but I didn't I was... know much about Black Widow either. Yeah, I just, I think Ant-Man's movies are better. Well, this was the first female Fe- outside Marvel X-Men. character. Outside X-Men. Yeah, Rot's. Got to throw an X Men. Yes, yeah. I'll get hate mail. But, I don't. <laughs> however, she is the first female superhero character without any additional powers. This is true. She's in that Batman. She is that standalone character that just relies on her own abilities. So is Ant Man. Uh, he he has... was given. He was given special. He has assistance. equipment, but he doesn't have. But he's funny. He doesn't have power. <laughs> That's my argument, She relies too. on her own talents and knowledge and physical abilities That's from training true. and... My argument for ant and... sucking right now, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> but it's ultimately actually specific. She's an she, awesome Russian spy. And she's also dressed in very moderate... Like, she's not over oh, no, her, sexualized. She's sexy, but still... She's not over sexualized. I'm going to say something terrible, though. Could there be a Black Widow movie and it hope be good? Because I... And I'm not saying this to be mean, but I don't know if she can carry a movie or that I think character. She could. I think there. I think she, she can. could. I don't think the character can. And I, I think, think with her as the character, she could. I think they could, and I've wished that they would for a long. I think time, they're actually. going to. I think because of the success of Wonder Woman, it's happening. Yeah, I've wished, for, I've, but even before Wonder Woman, I've wished that they would. Yeah, have. but I don't um, think anyone was going to take a one chance. One complaint: I hate that they went back to blonde hair, though. Yeah, no, I like the red. They just got lazy. So, but we've mm-hmm. got Ant-Man and the Wasp, so and I enjoy. So, Ashley, your ultimate pick is? Black Widow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Although I do greatly enjoy the Ant-Man movies. And I love that Paul was, Rudd. That was, I love Paul Rudd from Kansas City. 
bigger surprise than I could have ever imagined because we went into that into the theater yeah, no, not expecting that to be. I a thought it was going to be the worst Marvel movie, and in, honestly, it might be my favorite or second favorite. Yeah, I didn't have high expectations for it either. But I haven't seen the again, second one yet. I love Paul Rudd, so yeah. I would just about watch anything that he's in. You know what my favorite Paul Rudd movie is outside this? Is it Clueless? It is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the first movie that I ever remember seeing him in. Uh, I love that movie. Speaking I still which, don't know why you've not seen it. Yeah. That needs to change. Yeah. Uh, Ashley and I is going to do this one. Sharon, you're the ultimate decision. Okay. Phoenix or Squirrel Girl? You're first. Phoenix. I'm. Cho- you know what I'm choosing. I know you're picking Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl is part of the Avengers. Phoenix is one of the X-Men. Avengers is cooler. No, pretty sure Mutant know- Powers is cooler. No, no- she does have superpowers. She can call squirrels. I There's- said Mutant oh. Powers is cooler. She has a tail. Uh, the thing that makes Squirrel Girl cool is she got into the Avengers because she was living in the attic. That's an honest to God. That's that is pretty happened. hilarious. That's, but, <laughs> that's pretty sweet, right? But I, I think that Phoenix contributes more. Phoenix couldn't beat Galactus. Squirrel Girl did. Squirrel Girl stopped Galactus by just talking to him. I had to throw in a snap. <laughs> I think that that dropped your, your points. <laughs> Probably. I think that dropped your points. In the comic books, she uh, gets cards, and each card's a Deadpool card, and Deadpool tells her what each character is, and she's able to go by that to destroy them. Great! I love this comic. It's so funny. If you haven't checked it out, do it, because I don't think she's going to win this. It is but quite you hilarious, should. though. Your husband's reading them, because I told mm-hmm. him to. <laughs> Squirrel Girl comics are quite hilarious. I've read through them. So I really look forward to learning more about Squirrel Girl. But I love the Phoenix. I do too. And this is a hard one for me because I went, oh, this sucks. Yeah, I love Jean Grey. Um, I, she's probably one of my more favorite X-Men characters. She's the only reason X-Men 3 was good. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. She's one of yeah. my more favorite. Um, and I look forward to seeing what how she does in the newer movies, what they what they do with her. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm excited for the future of the X-Men. So yeah. uh it's between you two. It is Captain America and the Hulk. Silence. Captain America? Shared. I think maybe the Hulk. What? <laughs> I'm just No kidding. way. I take I take it back. It is Captain America. That's what I said before. I take it back. I take it back. It's Captain America. Oh, just I'm just I would have been like Yeah. I want to no, hear your argument. I had to think about it. I had to remember, but yes, no, I said Cap. Yeah, Captain America. I, I think if Chris Evans hadn't got that, it wouldn't have been as good. Chris Evans is wonderful. I he can't... is, and I've liked him for a really long time, like I... even before this. My favorite Chris Evans movie that's not Captain America, not another teen movie. Of course, yes. it's It's good. That's funny, it's though. Good. Their is. Grease scene is freaking hysterical, and if you have the DVD of it, they do a pop-up video. You mean it's not Fantastic Four? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Flame on. Uh, this is a terrible movie. They have just failed to get that movie right and so many a times. And now they, Disney's going to do it. They have killed Fantastic Four so much that they stopped making comics. They yeah, they came. killed the comics. They stopped the comic yeah. universe. I don't know. Which is crazy. Marvel comics sucks I right think, now, though. And Fantastic yeah. Four was actually like um, supposed to be a part of the Infinity War. Yeah, like they were it, supposed it to be instrumental. It should be like this huge thing. And I think they messed up so many they films can't. about it that <laughs> they people fucked. just got That's why mad I think it became it. Guardians. Yeah. I think that's why Guardians yeah. happened. Because they're they like, we can't, can't do this. They can't. Uh, it is between Sharon and I. It's Wolverine and Magneto. It's Wolverine. That's who I'm picking too. I don't... I like Magneto. He's fine, but I mean, it's Wolverine. Wolverine is as, fine. As, as quote, far as villains go, Magneto is pretty phenomenal. That's the only other villain on this list because Marvel villains kind of suck. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of interchangeable. Well, and and a lot of their villains, even though they're villains, they're kind of more antiheroes. Because I mean, I understand where Thanos is coming from, and well, I and actually like Thanos. And there's Silver Surfer, but it's not really his fault. But he's a hero too. Yeah, he's mm. not. Like, right, they're anti anti heroes. Like you, you kind of get where they're coming from. So it's not really their fault. They kind of mm-hmm. were misled, you know. So. I, even I really even Magneto's like Magneto, kind of that way, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, he, well, it's he X Men too. They're good guys. Right, and like he, I mean, he was kind of had a really bad laugh, and yeah. you know, you kind of. I like, sorry for him. The thing is with Marvel villains, where uh, DC just gets that right. Yeah, yeah. But Marvel oh, yeah. doesn't. I don't know. But Marvel makes the hero the focal point, and I guess that's technically what it should be. 
Well, I think they humanize their their uh, villains, villains so much. Whereas DCs doesn't. are more just psychopaths. Which is awesome because I love yeah. psychopaths. I love a good villain. And they're well developed. Both both of them are kind of well developed, but they're just on different but ninety percent they, they just fork off on different paths. We're, we'll yeah. discuss some villains in DC in a minute, because I, I have a feeling I we're gonna discuss villain. that a hard. Yeah. Uh it is between Ashley and I now. Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel. I'm actually gonna pick Doctor Strange. <sighs> I know that he lost in this round, but I am going to pick Doctor Strange. I don't know much about Carol, and and that's my only reason I'm picking Doctor Strange. But once that movie comes out, th- my vote might change. I might go with Captain Marvel, but I'm going to take Doctor Strange. That's who I would have picked, too. And I really am kind of surprised on that, only because of more of a the current pop culture, just because we just had that exposure. Well, no. The, I, I think a lot of the fans that are voting this are comic fans, too. And that's been really... Maybe. Yeah. Uh, it is between you two, and it is Black Panther and Deadpool. Deadpool. I say Deadpool also. Oh, it's Deadpool. I don't yeah. Know. And that's nothing against Black Panther. Like, no. that's not... And I really enjoyed the Black, Black Panther movie, but I actually... Did you know anything about that character before that movie? No. That's the thing with Marvel no, characters. I, I really enjoyed that movie, but it was actually some of the supporting characters that I love the most. I like him as, an, I like yeah. him as a character, but I just feel Marvel has had these characters where you just don't... And, and they're I like think, plucking these obscure characters and making him a huge household name, and I love that. And I think he's great to add to the team, but I don't know that he is have another standalone. Yeah, like you, you got your one good backstory movie, and now you're probably just gonna yeah. kind of be shoved with other people. And which I is might fine. Be, and I might yeah. be wrong, but yeah, yeah, this ought to be interesting. It's between me and you, Thor or Iron Man? I say Iron Man. I think I'm going to go with Iron Man as well, but it's only because I can't, I'm not a big fan of Thor. I like them both, but Tony Stark just speaks to my sarcastic soul. <laughs> yeah. I just really love Tony Again, Stark. Again, though, I mean, I'm he's so smart and sarcastic. Of, and... of movie Thor, not as much comic Thor. No, comic, well, female comic Thor is awesome. They're Male bad. comic Thor, 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 Thorn, Thor is, I mean, I'm okay with it, but it, it just kind of. It gets repetitive. I the think Thor that um, standalone Thor movies have just been kind of um, yeah. I think, no, he's been he was great in Infinity War. Actually, that's probably been his best movie in a long right. time. Um, I think Ragnarok was actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I would go out of your way to watch it. It was really actually pretty good. Uh, I think it was better than the previous ones. There was two. Yeah, movies. no, yeah. the first one's terrible. I don't care for either Thor movie. The third one's okay. Like yeah, I like I it better Ragnarok. than the first two. Uh, it was a more humorous take on it, yeah. and I really actually enjoyed that one a lot. But I also like the fact that Hulk was in it, so that changes a lot too. Rot. His, um, I can't think of his name, but the guy who plays Hulk now, fan freaking fantastic. Uh, there was a lot more actually um, improvised lines, and it was just like, a lot more fun. Uh, and he's really great in Avengers, but um, as far as yeah, yeah. So we're gonna move on to the second round yes. between me and you now, Spider Man or. Black Widow. Spider-Man. I'm picking Spider-Man. I agree. I, as much as I love Black Widow. It's, nope. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Uh, Phoenix or Captain America? It's between you two. I say Phoenix. I just don't know enough about... And that may not be how it comes down to it, but... I just I don't am know. actually going to pick Phoenix over Captain America at this point because of how crazy they're doing with him in comics right now. Oh, because he's Hydra. Because he's Hydra, and that still makes me sad. Epic cosplay, but that makes me sad. (laughs) But he did punch Hitler. So, I mean, there's that. In a fake show 50,000 times. No, in the comics. I know. In, uh, I think it's the second one. I know. The cover's him punching Hitler. Uh, It's the most sought-after comic book cover. Well, I'm sure that this won't be how it goes down, though, but... No, because I mean Ant Man already won. So Ant Man from the fans won. So, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which is really Phoenix. Dang, it's empty. Phoenix and Captain America are in the second round for the fan vote too. Wow. So this should be interesting. Uh, Wolverine or Doctor Strange? It's between me and you. Wolverine. Yeah, I can't argue that. No. I mean Wolverine's is a classic X Men and kind of hot. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Oh, Out of all the X Men, like he's Hugh Jackman's the a good looking dude, mm-hmm. even though he's really old. Yeah. Okay. So this is a character I'm 100 percent sure that no one's going to be able to play 
because of how good Hugh Jackman was. Yeah. And I'm scared oh, for anybody yeah. who gets Wolverine now because yeah. I'm like, you're fucked. He's just one of those. He has so embodied the character that it just won't work again. No. And I mean, he's 100%. Won't. 100% yeah. that character. Deadpool or Iron Man? Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah. If we it had s- been anybody else, it would have been Iron Man. Yeah, no, that's that's what sucks Any here. Any other person on this list, and well, I would have picked Iron Man. it's kind of like um, when we play Cards Against Humanity, there's certain things that will just <laughs> always win, mm-hmm. you know? Daniel and- Radcliffe's delicious asshole. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Medieval times. <laughs> right. We just have things that you just know, like, if that's played, it's gonna win. So... Spider Man or Phoenix? Spider Man. Sharon? Oh, is this yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. So Spider Man has entered the Marvel Finals, which is exactly how I have got this on my bracket as well. So we're we're okay there. And a matchup that's gonna be fun is between me and you. Wolverine or Deadpool? Ha! Oh, this is <laughs> yeah. uh, this, this is how it would actually end up being too. Like, yeah, this is what I think is gonna happen. I can happen. totally see this happening in a movie. Yeah, this is what I think the brackets actually are going to do, too. Wow. I'm going to take Deadpool. And I'm going to say Wolverine. What's your argument? Um, I think Deadpool is an absolutely phenomenal character, but Wolverine has been around for so much longer, um, both in story time and actually in comic book time. He is a classic X-Men, um, and he's one of these characters that, um, while he's kind of gruff and he doesn't like to be a part of the group, you also know that he's always kind of standing back and watching out for characters and would intervene and step up and help take care of people. Chimichangas. <laughs> That's a really terrible argument. <laughs> no, no, Chimichang. If we're going on this, one... The Wolverine movie killed Deadpool for a while. That's his fault. That is not. That is it. The Wolverine movie killed the Deadpool that is, character. That is Studio's not fault. Wolverine's fault. That is Wolverine's fault. I mean, yes, technically Wolverine killed Deadpool. No, you got to remember this. But, but not out of his own free will. That was not his choice. But I just think Deadpool's more fun to watch in general. Like, if I'm going to choose a character, like, if I'm going to choose a movie of the two, like, if I had to choose between the Wolverine movie or Deadpool? I'm choosing Deadpool 100%. So you don't want to be moved. I don't. I, I like the <laughs> you laugh. You be entertained. Yeah, I would rather... because the, there, the, there were feels in the second Deadpool movie. There was, but then you laugh like two seconds later. Like, it, here's a feel, here's something funny. Like, there's never... It was always constantly just hitting comedy spot after comedy spot. Plus, I love the comics because of who made Deadpool relevant, and that's Pre- Patton Oswalt and Brian Posehn. You can't argue against Patton Oswalt and Brian Posehn. They are two of the best stand-ups ever. Yeah. Love Brian Posehn's voice, by the way. I don't... Do you know who this is? Yes. Love his voice. So nasally. But it's because of them. <laughs> I only use the tampons to help stop my nosebleed. Uh, <laughs> what a wonderful argument. Yeah. But no, they're the reason that Deadpool is as popular yeah. as it is now. That's my argument. I mean, I already know my choice. All right, go for it. My choice is Deadpool, but it's not because of your argument. No, I know your it's argument not. sucked. But overall, between films and comics and just pop culture in general. Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. It's still the best thing ever. I am about 95% certain that Ryan Reynolds is actually Deadpool. It's very possible. <laughs> so I get very another possible. person, like <clears throat> now if they ever recast Deadpool, nope. They're it's, fucked. It's not gonna work either. You literally they're cannot fucked? recast yeah. that. You cannot do it. It's the same thing. I feel that Unless way about Unless you change it to a female Deadpool. Which I think that is gonna could come. possibly happen. By the way, Deadpool also gave us probably the best character in the Marvel universe. Domino. Hands down, Domino might be my favorite character ever. And I think that was another one that a lot of people weren't really sure about the casting. I loved it. And she just She phenomenal. knocked it out of the park. Yeah, it was no phenomenal. Joke. She knocked all it of, out of the park. All of the characters have been phenomenally cast. It's between me and you. It is Spider-Man and Deadpool. Which, which is the worst possible Which is what I think finals. the finals probably will be, because I think Deadpool beats Wolverine in general, but... Spider-Man or Deadpool? I don't care who wins this. I'm happy. Yeah, no, this is a win-win situation. Like this is this is the top of the pile as far as comic book characters go. 
Even that last round was really hard. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. The mark yeah. the I think the DC one's even harder. I think once we get there, you're just like, especially that second half of that bracket, because I know it's coming. Deadpool or Spider Man? <laughs> this is tough. It is tough. All of our fans are doing it right now too. So I know. I know. I'm I'm letting you pick first. Because it's ladies first. While we're waiting. Thanks. <laughs> Spider Man. I think I'm going to say Deadpool only because Tobey Maguire's Spider Man still kills it for me. That, that's actually one of the first Spider Mans that I ever I know, it's really a great, saw. But Spider Man 3. Yeah. They have had some questionable Spider Man movies. Yeah, no. The- but I'm actually probably the happiest with the current Spider Man. Oh, yeah, no, Andrew, he, not Andrew Garfield, but the one now is the best one, yeah. Andrew Garfield did great. I liked did, Andrew Garfield. Fine. I was happy with him, but the current Spider-Man is the appropriate age gap between him and everybody else. But as we he, said... He seems just, little and adorable. I think Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. That's probably the main reason here. Pretty, pretty sure he is. The comics pretty and sure then Ryan is. Reynolds' portrayal of Deadpool, who tweets as Deadpool I know. all the time, <laughs> is perfect. He, he loves Deadpool. So this is all on your decision now. It's Spider Man. Yeah, I figure that's where you're going. I mean, I absolutely love Ron Reynolds and Deadpool, but it is Spider Man. Which I I'm pretty sure Spider Man's gonna win the Marvel side, but I could be wrong. I said before we started this that I thought Spider Man was gonna win the whole thing. I, 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 I don't think he wins the whole thing. I think he wins the whole thing. We're gonna come right back after break. Stan Lee's favorite comic book character. Well, because he created it. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break with the DC side. This one's going to be even tougher. We'll be right back with more of the most random show on the internet. TVK Live! Are you looking to travel to a dimension far beyond the realms of Earth? Or are you looking for the perfect horror story that will keep you up at night? Visit the TVK store to check out the entire library from Burning Willow Press horror, sci-fi, and more. And at prices cheaper than Amazon. tbkmagazine.com slash shop tbk. Hey, you wanna hear a good joke? Nobody speak, nobody get jokes. Over Labor Day weekend, a revolution will be taking place in the world of professional wrestling. Join TBK Magazine at SNS as we go all in for StarCast. Over 20 plus events in just four days. Visit StarCast.com for ticket information and be part of this historic event. And if you can't make it to Chicago for StarCast, you can purchase it on the Fight.TV app. And we're back with more of this awesome, crazy nerd debate, Marvel versus DC. But while we were waiting, I've got to tell you, I think I'm hungry. <laughs> it is kind of getting around the top. I'm it? just it, like... It is. I, I had lunch today, and I made bacon and eggs. That was at 2.30. Uh, because I'm trying to think. I think I had cereal and some yogurt around 11.30 after I left here. If I remember correctly, Sharon, I've heard that you could eat cereal for every meal. Most of the time. Yeah. And you as well, so whatever. I love cereal. We have literally five types of cereal in the house right now. Yeah, this is the most cereal I've ever had in my life. There are some days where I got to thinking, and I'm like, I just had some carbs today, and... I'm going to cereal it up. A a A side of carbs. (laughs) Yeah, a a very small amount of protein from the milk in it. Yeah. Yeah, I I I should probably eat meat. Yeah, it it gets gets pretty sad after a while, because Jesse's like, I don't know how you live with that. And I'm just like, hmm. (laughs) I don't know. It is what it is. I might eat some ice cream later. <laughs> That'll there's round it There's some protein off. in some ice cream, too. Yeah, there's oh some calcium, God. a little bit of protein. It'll, it'll work. It'll work. Some sugar, you know. <laughs> By the way, we have not made it through all three of the pints of superhero ice cream yet. No, we have when, not. When Jesse and I had our little bitty uh, weekend getaway, I had wanted some ice cream, but the actual legit ice cream places were closed, so I made him take me to Walmart. Mm-hmm. 
and it was getting a little container, a little pint of ice cream. And Jesse was like, look at these ice creams. And I was like, I know I have tried them all. And he was like, <laughs> how'd you try them? And I was like, well, Richard makes me try terrible stuff, but Ashley <laughs> makes me try wonderful stuff. I was like, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, so we, we have yeah. good things when Ashley's in charge. And then I shared the ranking and he he felt that that was probably appropriate as to how you and I would rank stuff. I do think that's the Wonder Woman the was better, so but good. I do think the Wonder Woman was better, but that's only because I'm more of a caramel fan. Chocolate is almost always yeah. going to win. I Chocolate like caramel is better. Ninety-nine percent. But you know, it was better than all, all that was that Butterfinger ice cream. That's all I'm. Which gonna I tried say. none of because you ate the whole. I thing. did. I was like, "Fuck it, it's mine." I got just a little bit of the Kit Kat ice cream before my children. Ate. I love Kit Kat. I still want to try it, but I'm not allowed to buy more ice cream until we eat the ice cream. No, there's like five containers in the damn freezer. (laughs) There's a cookies and cream one and a a Neapolitan one (laughs) hidden in there as well. That I had purchased before I decided to purchase all of the ice creams (laughs) to try on the show. So at one point we had six. My dinner tonight might be fucking ice cream. Like that's that's a possibility. You can make it through it. I've done it before. Actually, it'll probably be a hot pocket. Then fucking ice cream. Uh, actually, we have four pints and two half gallons of ice cream currently. I did have freezer. a couple of scoops of uh, cheesecake filling before I came over here. So. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't even know what to say. That. Speaking of which, has anyone ever actually... I know we're off topic, but this is random. Uh, has anyone ever cooked a Hot Pocket in the oven? I know you have, but have you ever cooked a Hot Pocket in the I oven? I cannot tell you the last time I've had a Hot Pocket, so I do not know how to I, answer that. I'm going to tell you this. It's a life-changing experience if you cook it in an oven. <laughs> It's 30, it takes 30 minutes to cook a Hot Pocket in an oven, but it's so crisp. It is so good. And it cooks all the way through. It's, it does. It's a life changing experience. It actually so, turns into an edible. Yeah, mist. it's actually a Hot Pocket, not a mushy thing with a cold center. Like, it is fan fucking tastic. R- Richard has to cook lunch for himself while I'm at work. <laughs> And he's not very good at remembering to actually cook food all of the time. So we get easily made meals like because I won't eat. Tuna so you're buying the same type of stuff pockets. like I do my kids. Yeah. Like we have, yeah. we buy raviolis. We buy the I've quit instant eating. macaroni in the cup. No, I can't do those. I buy those for my lunches. She does. I <laughs> don't like busy. those. I don't like those very often. Like I, I had a couple of those in my desk drawer. Canned soup, ramen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's only because I won't eat. I mean, mostly because I'm in here 90% of my time. Like, <laughs> it's just, not something that he can easily do. He's just going to not eat until I get home and cook dinner. Or I'm going to cook a big meal. Because he have time yeah, right now I or know. the drive to actually feed himself. So I have to do something that's simple, like a Hot Pocket, that he can throw in the microwave or in the oven and not have to 28 touch. minutes in the oven, pretzel crust, it's the most amazing thing <laughs> on the earth. It, it's a life-changing experience. I'll have to keep it in mind. I'm telling you, there's lean pockets with pretzel crust. They're awesome. Okay. And they've got good things like chicken, broccoli, and cheese. And it's layered. fantastic. They're better for you than the normal Hot Pockets, according to the nutritional facts. Okay, I'll keep it in I've mind. I've been trying to eat differently, and like, I don't know. I ended up getting Hot Pockets because I'm like, because StarCast is pretty much taking 90% of my life. And I'm like, I need something quick. And apparently I ended up with Hot Pockets. They've been all right. And, and I bought macaroni cups and pudding. No, she, I have butterscotch pudding in there, too. I don't know. Uh, all right, so now it's time for the DC bracket. We're going to start off with the matchup, which I think is just going to be easy as shit. So uh, Batman and Lex Luthor. Everyone Batman? Batman, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Lex next, Luthor, he's kind of whiny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the my least favorite villain in the DC universe, but so well-loved. Like, he had to make the tournament, but I'm like, at a certain point, DC heroes fall off the map. Mm. I'm at that point. It's all Batman villains. Batman villains are wonderful. Everybody. That's else where is we were. Kinda, that's where I was going with this. Yeah. Everybody else is kind of crappy. Outside Lex Luthor, I can't name another one that's going to ever make this style of tournament because I like Cheetah, but she's not good enough for this. Sinestro is not good enough for this. Mm-mm. Dark side might be the only other one that's well loved. I sure as hell know Mr. Mixaplick ain't Can making it. Can you tack in like some Ninja Turtle ones and hope no one notices? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Master Splinter. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good guy. Uh, oh, that's Shredder. Shredder. It's been a long time since Ma- I've Master Splinter is a small mouse. I just He's the good guy. I want you to know I saw Shredder in my head and was like, that's Splinter. I don't know what hmm. Yeah. Uh Flash they or Robin. I would Ro- notice that. Yeah. Flash or Robin. Flash, flash, flash. I don't know. Hmm. All right, it's your turn. Go ahead. Flash or Robin, Ashley? I'm actually going to pick Robin. What? This? All right. I think I probably would, too. 
I'm going to be honest with you. If we're choosing any type of Robin, I'm going to choose Flash from the comics or the TV series. But Robin from 66 Batman with his huge dick and two pairs of tights <laughs> is the greatest <sighs> thing ever. So I would pick Robin as well. What if I want to pick like Lego Batman Robin? That also works. Which is probably my favorite Robin as well. Which is yeah. also based on the 66 Robin. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> so, but way smaller and cuter and without a giant cock. I, I was going to say we're not looking for his junk on the Lego Batman. <laughs> like, I did. <laughs> like, like, like frequently whenever I watch 66 Batman I'm looking to see if you yeah, can no. see his junk. Okay, so the, <laughs> it's a problem. The very first episode of the Batman 66 show the pilot one they tie Robin up to a pole, like Riddler ties him up to a pole, and you just see the outline, and it's just like halfway down his leg. Like you can actually see it, and it's the only episode you can see it in because they they switch it because the first episode actually all can like it's not a two parter like mm-hmm. most Batman's, yeah. But you can see the outline of his cock, and you're just like, oh my god, that dude's a horse. Like it's 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 intense. Green Lantern or Arrow? <laughs> it's between me and Sharon. Who are you picking, Sharon? <laughs> Sharon is red right now, everybody. I'm hot. Um, we turn we turned the off the on, air. So. Go turn yeah. it back on. Don't turn it back on. No, screw. leave it alone. No, it's hot as hell in here. <laughs> um, I don't know as much about Arrow. Um, I feel out of principle. I have to choose Stephen Amell because we have his wine company as a sponsor. <laughs> out of principle, I have to choose Arrow. I was gonna say I just I don't know as much about arrows, so I like the TV series better than I do the comics. However, there's that one awesome comic that has Riddler on it. It's one of the only few comics ever that has Riddler on the cover. So I like the Green I like Lantern, Green Lantern stories, but Tom Cruise is Green Lantern. I know, I know, and I the, the Green Lantern but car- he's not cast yet. The Green Lantern cartoon that DC does, like the cartoon movies, fan freaking right. fantastic. Um, and so I enjoy those. I don't know as much about Lantern or Arrow, so I can't even defend. So are you my going choice. with Lantern? Yeah, I feel like, I'm, <laughs> and I can't even defend my choice because I don't know as much about Arrow. So I mean, so I'm just saying, just, just because pick your favorite. Yeah, actually. just pick Lantern. Your, okay. Sorry. Unless it's Tom Cruise. Sorry, Stephen. And, I, and we're not even counting that no, other movie. No, either. like the Arrow TV sh- series is phenomenal. Sorry, Stephen. But I don't know any other Arrow. I know a lot more Green Lantern and I will say Lantern this, Corps in, in right. general. I will say this: La- uh, Arrow in the DC comic movies, like the cartoons, is awesome. He's so sarcastic, but he looks like Robin Hood. One hundred percent. He does, looks like and Robin I don't. Hood. I don't like it. I like Arrow. I like the look of Stephen Amell's Arrow because he doesn't look like Robin Hood. Yes. But I get where they do it. So, next up, Constantine and Poison Ivy is between me and you, Ashley. Constantine or Poison Ivy? Pick Constantine. Poison Ivy. Oh shit! <laughs> so this one's actually a really hard choice for me because you like both of them. I really I, do. I do too. I, I really do. I mean, I enjoy. Um, they're they're very very different. I think Constantine's being in the dark part of DC, which is very rare. In the comics, because DC comics are usually light, more upbeat and lighter. But I mean, there's Justice League Dark, and guess who leads it? Constantine. It's Constantine. Yeah, and I I love Constantine, but I love Poison Ivy. Yeah, she is quite honestly my favorite Batman villain. Really? Yes. I didn't know this. Yes. Yeah. I- Poison Ivy's not even in my top three, but that's only because I think the movie. Well, I like her in the movie, but. And you know what? And she might be she's my number three. super nerdy. Unless you see and her. And has a purpose of but wanting the, to help. I really don't the like world. her character very much on Gotham, but I do like um, previous I, renditions of her. I definitely have my argument here, but you can't do a scantily clad Constantine. You could. No, you have to wear a trench coat. Like, no. that's part of the costume. All you have to do is a female version, and you're fine. Yeah. Um,. It's not not really because you can never do. tell if it's Constantine or um, Misha. Castiel. Yeah, Castiel. This is true. This is true. <laughs> so I'm kind of confusing is, here. Like that is my old... my game at cons because if they're not actually wearing angel wings, are you Constantine, Constantine or Castiel? Or Castiel. And that becomes a fun game. I would like to see more with Constantine. We really haven't seen a whole lot. He's in the um, Arrowverse. Now the guy who the TV show Constantine that they canceled, mm-hmm. he's in the Arrowverse now. That's awesome! So he just got added. That makes me happy. I'm excited to see where that goes. 
and they're getting ready to do a new Constantine movie, and they're actually talking about him. So I think he was they fantastic. Should. They need to use the same people for the TV as they do for the movies. I also would like wouldn't mind seeing Zatanna in a movie as well. Very true. Oh man, this is really hard for me. I mean, you got this great storyline of Poison Ivy, who I, but I mean, her main antagonist is Batman. Yeah. But you got Constantine, who fights demons and crap, and Which is, is with really cool. Is it with so, a magician? So out of the female characters, Poison Ivy is my favorite. Out of the female villains, right? She's my favorite because you've got Selena, who's not <coughs> really truly a villain. Cause she's more of an anti-hero. She, she's, she's just kind of selfish. She yeah, just she's takes a care tweener. of herself. Yeah. You've got Harley Quinn. She's tweener. interesting, but she she's just really kind of. She's she's, she doesn't stand on her own. No. She really doesn't. So she does in the Ivy, comics, not in the movie. As much, I will say. And that. she didn't in the uh, cartoon. Yeah, not the ones we grew up with, anyway. Um, so Poison Ivy is my favorite mm-hmm. as far as that goes. Um, gosh, this is the tough. Like it I told really you, the, the DC bracket to me is the toughest, and and I did this all by random chance. By yeah, the way, this is another one that's really really hard. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Constantine though, because just in general, that's more kind of up my alley. I think. Yeah, I, uh, it is. The next matchup. I mean, it's not a bad choice. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. No, the the next matchup is Superman and Harley Quinn. And that's <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. this was all done by chance, and yeah. I was like, "You got to be shitting me!" Because when I saw that, I went, "Oh, oh God!" Who, yeah. Who's up for this one? It's you two. That's just gonna be Superman. I feel I'm picking Harley Quinn. I have an intense dislike for Superman. <sighs> I do not care for Superman so th- at all. So now I'm debating on something. I really, really like Harley Quinn as a character, but and and I definitely get where you're coming from as far as Superman. He's by far not my favorite superhero. But I understand there's a lot attached with him and the history. And yeah, this is, is where I go. Like the perfect to, hero. To, and to me, it's kind of like Spider Man. There's going to be certain characters that are almost always going to win. Uh, you know, when it comes down to it. At the end of the day, he's going to be kind of one of those heroes that just re- represent superheroes. I'm just going to say, but this. also his greatest weakness is a rock. This is true. That's everywhere. Yeah, literally. That everywhere. Lex Luthor can get hit in yeah. the head with constantly. Yeah, like, like how in the hell do you this find is a that super Lex? rare alien rock that, that Lex is Lu- literally everywhere? That Lex but, Luthor finds like we found arrowheads as a kid. But we've got Harley Quinn that will pretty much drop anything to. She's Help a villain. Joker. She doesn't have to be good. No, but she follows Joker around yeah, almost but she anywhere doesn't. and everywhere. Or she's married to Poison Ivy. This is, this true. is true. That's kind of nice. Which is way cool. I like comic than, book yeah. Harley Quinn better than Harley I do. Harley Quinn any. is so abused by the Joker. It's wonderful to see her in her comic incarnation. Oh, now she don't. Be she killed him. Rid of him. I had told nice. you that. Yes. yeah, she kills him. I have I'm that comic. So I was so excited yeah, when that happened. Nice. Her and Harley like are so much better together. Her and Poison Ivy are so much better together. Lovely. It's awesome. Lovely. Like, she just gets fed up with his shit and says enough's enough and just beats the piss out of him. Lovely. It's it's pretty epic. So there you go. So it's up to it's up to me, isn't it? It's up okay. to you. I'm going to tell you this, and it sucks. I'm going to choose Superman. But part of my reasoning is, if Harley Quinn's against anyone else in this tournament with the exception of Batman, I'm picking Harley. Like, it, the only reason I'm going Superman is because of the history. Yeah. Which is, I, I understand, but I'm not going to pick Superman. No, I didn't vote. I, Here's the thing. I don't like when Superman. I voted though I voted for Harley Quinn because <laughs> like, I because I know Superman won it's just like, yeah. kind of one of those pop like, like Santiago that... can be mad at me if he wants to everyone has that Superman help symbol I, by the way I do not like Superman it, he's definitely not my favorite but I just kind of feel like when it comes down to it pop culture wise it's just it's him and it Batman is. and Wonder Woman like I said this yeah. when I we, we were I, filling this out the top four is Batman Wonder Woman uh it, it's just Superman like, and Spider Man. Right. Those it's are the just big like four. Spider Man is mm-hmm. it is Marvel. It yeah. just it is what it is. I I will say though, my favorite Superman is from the nineties TV show. With Dean Cain. With Dean Cain. <laughs> I like that, that show. That is my Superman. That is the only Superman that I can handle. The Adventures of Lois and Clark. Yep. Mm-hmm. The only Superman I can handle is Dean Cain. And it's not a terrible show. No, it's not. I remember watching it when mm-hmm. it was on. Uh next up is Shazam and Aquaman. It is between us. I'm choosing Aquaman because he smells like vanilla. (laughs) 
<laughs> I say it's Aquaman too. I'm, I am excited for the movie for Shazam, but um, I say it's Aquaman. I, I now have to spell Jason Momoa at some point <laughs> in my life. It's now on my bucket list. We'll thanks. Look, we look forward to yeah. um, thanks, Tiffany. tracking down that set. Now, now we're going to have to go. This is a game. We're, we're going to have to get a meet and greet and all three of us go meet Jason Momoa and hug him and sniff him and ask him what cologne Hi, is. Jason. Can we smell you? <laughs> <laughs> Be like, we're so excited for this day so we can smell you. Uh, Wonder Woman or Joker? And it is between you two, I think. me and you. Wonder Woman. I'm picking Wonder Woman. I agree. I hate Joker. Like Joker comes to me like I'm sick and tired of the incarnations of the Joker. See, my favorite villain in the universe is the Riddler. Yes, we know. But he lost to Lex Luthor in the play-in matchups. And I'm like, Which makes me mad. Like I know ah. that whoever got in was going to lose in the first round. Yeah, like, no. That wasn't the issue. I just don't like Lex Luthor. I knew that was going to be. It was the, close. The though. Riddler is way cooler than Lex Luthor. But it's because, I agree. But it's because the Riddler doesn't get portrayed as often either. I think that's part of it. And uh, between the two of you, Catwoman or Batgirl? Catwoman. Catwoman. Sorry, Barbara Gordon. I'm just not a big fan of Batgirl. I like Batgirl in the TV series, in the 66 show. I'll give you that. Because she's fantastic in the 66 show. But outside that... Everybody uh, was fantastic in the 66 show. You are correct. <laughs> there is not a bad villain in that, the 66 show. That is show, the perfect Batman. With the exception of the Redneck family. And I can't think of their names. So the next matchup for us is Batman versus Robin. <laughs> which is me and you. Nice. Uh, who you... <laughs> the dog's begging. It's, it's adorbs. Uh, <laughs> um, who do Don't I use pick? that word anymore. I'm using it all the time now. Yeah, who it's do you? It's Batman. Yeah, it's Batman. Come on. It has to be. I really Sorry. like Robin still. Sorry, Robin. <laughs> between uh, the two, between me and you, Ashley, Lantern or Constantine? Constantine. Yeah, I think this is that upset special. I think Constantine might actually go to the Sims in the vote too, because he beat the shit out of Poison Ivy in the vote, like ninety to ten. It was one of the biggest ones, and I went, oh, crap. That is kind of surprising yeah. to me. And we had over 200,000 votes between that round. Wow. Because apparently we went viral, so woohoo on yeah. that one. Nice. Congratulations, us. Yeah. So, Constantine. All right. Uh, the two of you, Superman or Aquaman? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. I still don't like Superman. I'm going to pick Aquaman. So Ashley picks Aquaman. And you know, I think this one could go either way maybe right now. Yeah, no, this Pop one's culture tough. Culture-wise, yeah, Aquaman this one's tough. is coming up because and he's way cooler now that it's Jason Momoa instead of a weirdo oh, the movie's and made a him. speedo that talks to a fish. And really, truly... <laughs> <laughs> the movie made him cooler. Let's and just say The it. movie it made him cool. It did. And really, truly, they did such a crappy job with the Batman-Superman movies here lately it could potentially be enough to stomp that down. Um, I'm going to go with Aquaman. Upset. I feel. Mm. I don't yeah. care. It's okay. Because I don't think Aquaman makes it past the next round anyway. So. It might not. But Wonder Woman or Catwoman? Wonder Woman. It's between us. Oh. It's, that's okay. I'll say Wonder um, Woman. It's Wonder Woman. Yeah, no. <laughs> I love I, Diana, I thought that was just a general consensus. <laughs> like we're all... We're all in agreement Speaking that which, Wonder a Woman really is a really great than TV Catwoman. show that never gets discussed. The Wonder Woman TV show is fantastic. It was. Oh, yeah. It's one of those mm -hmm. that people forget about. Like yeah. I My father in law, he really enjoyed it. So uh next up, Batman or Constantine. It's between I've lost where we are now. I think it's between you two. It's between us. Batman or Constantine? Batman. Batman. As much as I love Constantine. Sharon, are you going to say Batman too? I think so. I think certain versions. <laughs> <laughs> Shay also agrees she, that it's Batman. Shay is she also really wants to share her opinion. Shay is uh, giving me the look. Um, all right. Aquaman or Wonder Woman? It's between the two of you. I say Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, that one's easy. Um, as much as I love Aquaman, Wonder Woman might be the best character in the be, DC universe. That would be a question for Tiffany right there. Oh, oh. hold on! <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm hoping. Does she think she's better than Jason Momoa? Oh, that is that is a real question. Wonder Woman, or I'm going to text that her is, right now. That if, is. Oh, I'm, she has to pick Wonder Woman, right? 
Like that's her I thing. Think so I hope I get a text back. Like that's her thing. I think. Except when she's drunk and then it's just wonder. I well. mean, she's a demigod, <laughs> so. But so is Aquaman if his father's Poseidon. This is true. Wow, yeah, that's true. They're right up there in the same. Yeah, yeah this Ooh. and both very good looking people. This is true. But I think they're going to be the two best movies of the DC universe as well. So that's another. I, I will Maybe we should that. get the two of them together. That that's would be weird. That, that would, would be the best power couple ever. It would be. Do we have a response? I, I said, she's like, which ones? I said movie. Because I really want to make this hard. <laughs> any. The answer would be any. I just really want to make this hard. If you're doing movies, have she's going to pick, gonna pick Jason Momoa. We have to pick any. So. If you're looking at movies, she's going to pick Jason Momoa. I don't think she does. Because she loved that Wonder Woman movie. She loves Jason Momoa. She loves Wonder Woman, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think if so she said cos- any, she was going to pick. She cosplays. it For everyone who does not know, Tiffany's on the show occasionally. She cosplays as Wonder Woman. She does fangirls Frequently. with us. And, yeah. Yeah. So Wonder Woman's kind of her thing. So we have got it down to the final two in the DC bracket. It is Wonder Woman and Batman. Holy shit. This is going to be the toughest one, I feel. And it's between me and you. Who are you picking? I don't even think we can argue this because they're both going to be such good characters. Like this has become that hard because they really date hard. too in the comics. That is really really hard. That's kind of a weird thing to imagine them dating. I don't know that I like that. That's awkward. Wonder Woman. Good for her. Good. She's that- like, and she just said, "Damn you." <laughs> <laughs> That's how we feel. <laughs> I mean, both of the semifinal matchups here have been. Oh, this whole bracket awesome. sucks. Like, yeah. When I posted the when I when I saw what it's gonna be, I went, the DC bracket's gonna be the one that gets the most votes out of the gate. Cause holy shit, like once the second round happens for Marvel, which I feel is really good. Cause Deadpool Iron Man's a hell of a matchup. It is. I don't know. That's really hard. I mean, you could see either one of them winning. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about like brand new off the island, Wonder Woman. Oh, if we're going new movies, I'm going to choose Wonder Woman. But if we're going like older stuff, I think it's Batman. Like this well, is weird. I mean, it, well, I mean, if we're talking like like when she first got off the island, she's pretty of newbie and she's still learning. Batman's kind of got a lot more finesse. This but, is tough. Cuz I love Wonder Woman. But Batman is just a guy with money. He also doesn't realize the people that he's banging are his villains. And he's going <laughs> to He is going to die. Miss Kitka. He's going to die. Right. Wonder Woman won't. Because she's a demigod? She's I mean, a demigod. she can be killed in theory, but... Because, I mean... Otherwise, she's real immortal. Hard. It's real hard to kill her. And even just being... I don't think it's happened in the comics even yet. Even just being if it has, I'm wrong. Amazon, like, she's going to live... Yeah. Because the demigod storyline for Wonder Woman didn't start until either the 80s or just recently. Like, it's it's been... Because she's always been an Amazonian princess. Yeah. Mm. So... This is tough. It's way cooler for her to be a god. No, I agree with this. Like, this one's absolutely... Anytime you mix in mythology, it's very, very nice. I get mythology Mm -hmm. so confused. But this one's the toughest one I think we do. That's one of my favorite webcomics that I'm reading right now is Greek mythology. Love it. Yeah, this is the toughest one I think we have. Like, this is probably what it's going to come down to. It's either Batman Superman or Batman Wonder Woman. Because I just... I have a feeling Batman takes the top half. I really want to say I'm leaning towards Wonder Woman. (sighs) This is tough. Like this. I mean, is, I, I like Batman. This is like trying to say, who's your favorite kid? Yeah. <laughs> I like Batman, but I almost like it more because the story is complex. It's a wider universe, and it's not even so much because it's Batman. Because it's it's. What, Do you take the whole universe into yeah, consideration? Because then me, Batman wins. Well, but that's what I'm saying. We're not talking about that. We're talking about him as an individual. But when I what I enjoy about Batman is. It is complex and it comes with all these stories, but we broke that away now. And it comes with all these villains that are so much more significant than you get anywhere else with DC. But and I think that's we, DC. Like, I think that's just Batman's been so iconic. Cause but we've stripped that away. So now we're talking about a guy with money who can build awesome toys. And one day he'll die. Isn't that the same argument with Iron Man, though? He's not here. He no, I'm just saying not, in general. We're not looking at that. He didn't now. make no. it to the finals. No, I'm just saying in general, though. Isn't that the same? Basically, well, you could if, make that same argument. If he though. was, yeah, and if he came down to the final end, that's something I would have had. To no, consider. no, I'm just saying in general. Sure, yeah. it is exactly. 
Because I feel like that's the two close, they're, like they're Marvel's. Pretty comparable, yeah, yeah, that is. That's Marvel's. I feel that Batman is. is Iron but, Man. But you know, if if you were looking at Iron Man, you would have to look at his really great intelligence. Batman doesn't really. I mean, he is intelligent, but it's a different top. I, I feel like they're on the same plane of intelligence, but like a different like it's, it's, it's a different a, yeah. top. It's a totally because I think top. I think Bruce Wayne might be even more street smart than yes. Tony Stark, and, and that's Tony a different. Stark is more scientific and uh, analytical, yeah. and that's that and that goes two different ways because if is. you fight that style, you never know who's going to win. You need to have different. Yeah, it, I'm not saying Batman's is not a great type of intelligence. It's probably right. more useful in Gotham. I mean, you know, yeah. But I'm just speaking sh- of which the show that um. Abed was on. Where, oh yeah, yeah. Where they made the DC stuff. It was a really good show. I know. I'm really sad that they canceled it. Um, the sitcom that had the ch- know, girl from know, High School it. Musical Vanessa and Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah. Oh yes. Thank you. Um. I can't think of the name of it right now, but yeah, that one that had uh, it had Alan Toot. Too. Yeah. I know. But who cares right now? I, I, are you going Batman or Wonder Woman? I need to know. I really think I say Wonder Woman because, like I said, if you strip away all of Goth- all of Gotham City, all of the stories that came with Batman, but when of- you have to do that, because uh, so you lose all the Wonder Woman stories too, right? And I'm saying her standing alone on her own. So there's this movie that's animated where Batman has a way to kill every member of the Justice League if they go rogue. I'm gonna choose Batman. Because of that, because I think Batman is so intelligent that he has that plan. Not Ben Affleck's Batman, but Batman in general <laughs> would have that plan. Because he's got, he even has it for himself if he goes rogue. Like, that's crazy. Like, how did Bruce Wayne thinks at some point he might go rogue? He has a plan to stop himself. Does that I did not make him a psychopath in his own right? Yeah, yes, but, it does. But, but it's the, yeah, but it's the DC universe. So I kind of, which have brings to, you back to the fan theory of. On in an alternate he, timeline, uh, Batman is the Joker. Yeah, but I get why he does it. So I mean, he's an anti-hero in his own right. Yeah, Wonder Woman isn't. This is tough. She may not be perfect, but I think she at least has good intentions. This comes down to you, Wonder Woman. Wow. All right. So, by the way, the name of the show is Powerless. There we go. There you go. Real, I really enjoyed that show. It was fun. All right, let's just go ahead and hit the finals. I'm not going to take a break. Are you ready? Spider-Man versus Wonder Woman, the ultimate character. I'm going to go with you, too, because I feel that's just a... I love Spider-Man, but I'm going to say Wonder Woman. And that's like breaking my Marvel heart, <laughs> I was going to say, because you, know? you were I like, love Spider-Man wins all the time. Yeah. Well, oh shit, Wonder Marvel, Woman. <laughs> Marvel is my favorite. It will probably always be where. But I Wonder gravitate. Woman is so but awesome. If I'm going to compare the two, powers to powers, fighting ability. Who's more popular? Okay, so if we're going on popularity, I honest to God think this might be the equivalent because I do believe Spider Man and Super or Spy, uh, Superman and Batman are more popular than Spider Man. I don't know. Because I, <sighs> I don't know. I think that's the two. It's going to come down to, I mean, you've this got... This is the if, four. If you walk up to a person and ask them to name a superhero... It's going to be Superman or Batman most of the know. time. Spider-Man or Wonder Woman. It's yeah. going to be one of those four. Yeah, it's going to be one of the four. And I'm, I think it's I think it's maybe fairly evenly distributed. Who are you choosing? As this is, this is ultimately, if you decide with her, Wonder Woman is our ultimate character. So if you choose Spider-Man, then it comes down to me. I know. And that means I'm either going to get hate mail or love. So, because I mean, at this point, I'm no longer caring about pop culture. I'm actually like looking at envisioning, it. Envisioning, yeah. Because I mean, if you look at new Spider-Man, he has to have tech. And he and Peter Parker's always been a rather slender guy who's prone to accidents. Yeah, that's what makes him lovable. Now he's though. I know I love him. But he, and he's always really, really resilient. Yes. This is tough. Because Diana Prince is like... She's, she's perfect. Yeah. Who needs to be inducted in the hall? She does. Wonder Woman. Just in general. I, and Gal Gadot herself, too, because she's pretty badass. But, yeah, I took out Wonder Woman's induction because I know who wrote it. And I said, screw it. Appropriate. Yeah. All right. So, here we go. Decisions on you. The weight of the world is on your shoulders right Wonder now. Wonder Woman. All right, that's it. 
Our ultimate Marvel versus DC character is Wonder Woman, who probably has the most layers of anyone on this list, with one exception. Okay. I think Harley, the new Harley Quinn stuff has so many layers, like it's yeah. hard to decipher who, where she is. I forgot to take in the bombshells into consideration. I love mm-hmm. Wonder Woman bombshell. Bombshell Wonder Woman is yeah. fan freaking fantastic. Yeah, All of the bombshells are wonderful. I, but honestly, Batgirl might be my favorite bombshell. Yeah. Well, I love love the purple. baseball uniform. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I know she has the jacket or the baseball uniform. Yeah. The baseball uniform. I want to own the baseball uniform. <laughs> this has been the hardest nerd debate we have ever done. It was. And my heart's still not happy with no, it. This is t- By <laughs> the way, what was your choice? If I had to ultimately decide, I'm probably going to choose Wonder Woman, but that's only because I probably would have went Batman. So, because I, if it would have come down to Spider Man against anyone but Wonder Woman, or Wonder Woman, Batman, I'm going to choose Spider Man. But those are the two that makes me go. Those are my two favorite DC characters outside the Riddler. So, I don't know how it'll come out. Being, you know, I don't know who the fans are going to vote for. I honestly think the fans might surprise me. Because they did with the Disney tournament. Because I never expected Robin Hood to get into the final four. Yeah, I was really surprised yeah. by that. So, which, by the way, I meant to uh, include in the uh, my list of movies from this morning. And I oh forgot. yeah, and the yeah. Five movies that you would take with you on a deserted island was discussed today on Are You Still Watching? And because I think that's them. an episode mm-hmm. of The Office. So it's really hard when you're put on the spot. And I do that a lot to her during Are You Still Watching. But she dropped two f bombs on this show, so hey. I did not. <laughs> she said one. No, no, I did she not. She didn't. I thought you did. I said I asshole. did. Oh, you said another one. <laughs> I thought you called people motherfuckers when I said. Uh, no, I did not. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that. That's you can fine. Go back and you can. To it, but it was me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like I'm gonna own up to that one. It was me. Yeah, she's she's saying comic Wonder Woman for a reason. That's this has been the toughest. Halloween, by the way, we were running our next one for Halloween. We have yet to decide what it is. Officially. I, there is, it's down to two topics. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there. It's down to two. You'll appreciate both of them. However, one of them we may get sick from. It, it comes, to, yeah, it comes down to horror movies because it's Halloween and that's pretty typical, or Halloween treats, so trick or treat candies and stuff like that. So it's which if we do, we're eating. We will eat all 32 of them. <laughs> Which makes me sad because I know that means we're going to eat those terrible black and orange taffy things that are like We always have to look up to see what cents. its names are and we can't ever remember. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because we're always surprised by what it's called. Which I won't be remember. the Halloween episode because that's Spooktacular 5 and I have that already planned. This will be slightly before. Yeah. <laughs> so it's either horror movies or treats. I... It comes down to ultimately who the person, what the person in charge thinks at that time, and that's you. Well, I sent a message to um, one of our other Halloween lovers and said I needed to call him and see. Yeah, he told me that today. Yeah. He told me that today. So I was going into a school open house when I sent. Yeah, it. so that that pretty, yeah, Sharon's in charge of her Halloween stuff this so year. So if it sucks, it's my fault. No, no, it doesn't. No, it's not going to suck. I don't know what I'm going to write yet. You have to tell me. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, you're in charge that week. Like I'm just gonna post everything. Okay. Well, I have an idea. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right. I just didn't know who I wanted to go to for help because you know I'm not a writer. Well, you are not a, a not a elaborate writer. I was gonna say no, I'm not are. a storyteller. I guess that's maybe what I should right. say. All right. <laughs> but guys, that's gonna wrap up this edition of Live. Did you learn anything? It's really hard to pick between some of these. <laughs> it is. Uh, you know what would have made this better? A wine advent calendar. We could have just got drunk and said, fuck it. <laughs> if I thought about it, I would have put a bottle of wine in the fridge, but I forgot. Yeah. It. Uh, guys, next week on live, I don't know what's going to happen. We might be back to two people. We might be our normal format next week. I don't know yet. It, it's going to happen. Uh, live moves to Thursdays because Sharon's schedule. Yep, I'm difficult. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. So that works out. Thursday's going to be that. Wednesday's YWWE. Uh, Friday is open and I don't know, like when you guys do an episode of fangirls, it's going to go up there. We just don't know what's going up on Friday. So there's some random live episodes. Interviews might go up on Friday. If nothing goes up, 
I am leading to a new show that starts in September that we're going to do on days that don't have podcasts. It's not a weekend. So, because weekends both have shows now. So, Monday, to, Monday, an odd Tuesday and a Friday is going to have a show up. Like Just to enjoy minutes. the surprises. Yeah, no, that's where it is. Uh, on Saturday, it's Are You Still Watching? Check that out, by the way. You can binge The Office with us. That's fun. Uh, SNS on Sunday. And then on Tuesdays, starting the 28th. Cinecrap and the movie this time to hype up Starcast uh, is the David Arquette movie Ready to Rumble uh, because David Arquette's going to be at Starcast. Uh, and I don't know who's watching that with me yet. I've already watched it. It's so bad, it's great. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just really bad. But it's fun bad. It's got a great cast. It's slightly amusing bad. I don't know who's watching that with me yet. So. It's not worth watching again, Ben. I considered Tiffany because of everything. Mm-hmm. Because I, feel they, like uh, <laughs> I feel like Tiffany would get a kick out of it. But I might have to have a third on that one. <laughs> so that's going to wrap up this edition of Live. Uh, do you guys want to add anything? I can't think of anything. Ashley adds a yawn. <laughs> I think My I bad. Could maybe should go get dinner. That sounds good. Yeah. So for Ashley and Sharon. Good night. Bye. We will see you next time. We're going to end this show like we do every episode. Torgo, you know what to do, sir. Take us home tonight. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. Uh, <laughs>